And welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Bubba the Bloom, episode 114. It's a special one. Uh, Ryan's going to get embarrassed again because he usually does in most leagues we take part in together. So we'll get to do it live for you, at least on the draft board part of it. But we'll get into all that and much, much more. You can find me on Twitter at VDN, check the podcast at Bubba Bloom Pod, and that w- wonderful co host I mentioned earlier on Twitter at Ryan BHQ. Ryan Bloomfield, how we doing, man? Already talking trash before I even get a chance to talk perks so, of the host job off. perks of the host job we're off to a good start um cannot wait for this man ever since you uh moved, got moved into this league or moved into this league however it happened from the uh the sold and innings league uh we have been looking forward to this for quite some time so this should be a total blast i am uh on, on the youtube crowd and in the streaming crowd and probably audio is a little different than normal i am watching my two kids and my two dogs <laughs> Well, how we yeah, draft the yeah, first few yeah. rounds. Is Ryan on location? <laughs> no, we are in the kitchen. Uh probably have some echo here, but once once the once I see my wife's car pull into the into the into the thing here, I'm gonna go back down to my back back down to the bloom cave. So we'll be we'll be back to normal, but probably the first couple of rounds will be uh we'll be up here trying to hold it together. That that's that's life. Yes, that is life, life in the, the fast lane. Life with kids, life with all the fun stuff that we do, besides just you know podcasting for fun. Um, draft starts in about four minutes, so I guess we can give a little little structure to what's going on. We we did your labor your labor draft a few weeks ago. This will be very similar, except OBP instead of batting average. So you've been in this league. You finished at least second last year to Doctor Roto, I believe. So give us some. Oh, by the way, I was on Doctor Roto's pod this week, and I laughed because it was great. To, or is a serious exam. Great talking to him. But his questions, his first like five questions, I think he basically just wanted to know what my style of drafting was for this format. That's where all the questions <laughs> were. It was it was genius on Dr. Roto's part. Genius is what I will say. But uh, give us some insight for someone like yourself that's been in this league a lot of how you kind of approach this differently. Yeah. Um, so defending champ is actually Seth Trackman. And so uh, and so he picks first. I like how Tout does it. If you win your league, basically the KDS is – the standings of last year and since you moved in i think you finished second so you're up there with me but uh but yeah i finished second i scored like 127 points man i almost had the the labor tout double dip but seth just had a team that was unbelievable scored like 140 and just just ran away with it so congrats to seth and his reward is mr acuna uh at first overall he's already said he's going to do that given the news that we got um but yeah real quick compared to some of maybe like nfbc type leagues or straight roto leagues yes obp is the big one so like we were just talking a little bit before like hitter adp is is you know out the window gets used a little bit too much but uh we are kind of drafting blind in terms of hitters i think pitchers will probably be the same or very similar in terms of adp but uh but hitters are the same um or sorry pitchers are the same We've got the chat going. We've already got Ben Tid. We've got Eric Leggett. We've got my kid. We got and we've got Yancey in the chat saying, hey, guys, excited to hang as always. Let, let's make this as interactive and fun um, as absolutely possible. Yeah, let's, um, let's not make this me talk. Let's, let, let's make me not be the one talking trash the whole time. Let's actually uh, let's have a little fun with the crowd and maybe we'll learn a few things about fantasy baseball along the way. But there'll be plenty of trash talking. Don't get me wrong. But uh, let's not make it 100%. Bloomfield has to get through the entire draft. So, Unlimited IL is another change, so similar to labor that we talked about. Unlimited IL in this league, so you will see some stashes. The labor, the, the streaming, you can stream a lot more in tout because it is a $1,000 fab with $0 minimum bids. Mm-hmm. So um, you can definitely stream... Uh, which, depending on your familiarity with the on Roto user interface for Fab, which is a separate conversation, but uh, but yeah, you can definitely stream. I'm um, trying to think of any other differences. Like in Fab, it's it's similar to Labor in that if you Fab someone, you have to start them for that week. But I don't know. It's about it. Two catchers, the, the the same positions. Really, the only change from your traditional five by five is uh, is OBP. So. Yep, should be pretty straightforward. I, I did OBP in the 12 team league. It was just a little bit different format in 12 versus 15. We obviously know massive difference when we start talking about things. And the draft has started, and Acuna went number one. So Bloomfield on the clock with such a tough decision. 
It's it is, I mean it was tough. I'm gonna go Juan Soto. Uh, he I mean like a projected OBP of like 420. So he just shoots up the rankings. I did a bloom board the other day of kind of the biggest highest risers and fall furthest faders from batting average to OBP. Soto was up there. Judge was actually projected on my sheet a little higher. Um, but I don't believe in Judge as much. So I'm interested in what you're gonna do at six. Very interested in what you're going to do at six. Yeah, it kind of depends on how things fall, and I guess people are listening. So, be we talked a little bit off air, just kind of picking our KDS. And my goal, I would love to get Mookie Betts because he has second, short, and outfit eligibility in this format. So that's tremendous. There goes J Rod at number three. I like Freddie Freeman as well. So if I can get a Freeman or a Betts, that would be great. There goes Judge. So I'll get Freddie or or Betts. So I'm already in a happy place when this is going on. And if Bet somehow falls to me at five, if Mike Gianella does not take him here, we are going to be off to a swimming start on this one. There goes no, Bet. Uh, so okay. Give me. What, what were you going to say? Well, well, you think no Otani? You didn't think about Otani? Because uh, he was when I when I was thinking too. When, actually, I'm, look, when I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking at this. Yeah. I'm already in your yeah. head. I like it. I like it. When I was when I was at two, I'll let you make your pick. I'll I'll talk. Um, when I was, well, I'll, at, when I'll go with like, Tony. That's intriguing. Now that you mention it, OBP it does change things here a bit. So let's have some fun. I have zero Otani shares. This will be my first Otani share of the season. So let's have some fun with that. Look at this forty chess I'm playing here, influencing your uh, your, yeah. your your draft decisions already. I'm not scared. So we're. Good. I did think about Otani at two if, if Acuna didn't go first. When, and I'll probably uh, have people ask on injury news. I probably have people asking why I didn't take Tatis as much as I love Tatis, but uh, in this format, I'll take my chances. We have Seth in the chat. Seth Trackman. Seth, the defending pick. champ, is in yeah. is in the draft. So uh, Soto would have been. I actually was going to ask you, Seth, if that was because you had cryptically said Acuna wasn't your number one, but I put by like only seven bucks. So I was wondering who your number two was. It was yeah, Seth, Soto. Seth did tweet out today when the he quote tweeted the good news, and he said, "I will be taking his, him number one." Basically, is what it came down to. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we have um, a great one question. thing I did sorry. not. Uh, yes. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say we have a great question in the chat from Roger Bloomfield. Who's going to get Rangifo and Estrada? That will be oh, a, a battle of the wits here on, on this on this group. Um, your your or the bets pick reminds me. It's 15 game eligibility in Tower. So Mookie Betts actually qualifies at uh, shortstop. Yep. Yep. Second Thanks. short and outfield. I was I did run a little comp to see how many guys get an extra position. There really wasn't many. There was only like five or six guys. Betts was one of them. I think Nolan Gorman was one. He's second and third eligible. But I was expecting a little bit more um, from that. But it is yeah, fifteen games eligibility. It'd be really nice if. Uh, never mind. That's my fault by operator error here. But. I'm really getting frustrated with the overall um, fan track system right now. The draft room is not making me very happy. I'll be honest about that. This guy. Excuses already, man. It's all I'm no, hearing. You, you, you saw what I'm talking about, too. It's not ideal. Let's put it that way. I'm trying to uh, see the player pool. So, not a fan. We want to go through uh, we want to go through the other names in this draft. The uh, other people drafting? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, up top, we got Seth is at uh, number one, Bloomfield number two. We have Adam Ronis at number three, DJ Short at four, Mike Ginella at five. I am at six. Shelly V, they're straight at seven. Ray Murphy at eight. Dr. Roto at nine. Tim McLeod, 10. Uh, uh, Adam Anino at 11. Uh, Sope at 12. Thorne at 13. Rudy Gamble at 14. And Mr. Scott White at 15. So it's, a, it's kind of a, a murderer's row here. It is that uh, Kyle Sapi at ESPN. He is a really good player. They're all good players, so it's 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 a good group. Um, so more HP representation with with Ray Murphy and and Shelley as well. So yeah, four four HQers here. We had a uh, Spencer Strider at thirteen, so first pitcher off the board at thirteen. So that's kind of fun right there. Not too surprised to see Bobby Witt fall. Yeah, in the OBP he fell to for sure. what. Fell to 10 mm -hmm. um, Tim McLeod. with like Kyle Tucker going ahead of him. I, I'm not too surprised with that. Surprised yeah. a little to see Jordan go, go this, go this late, but no, injuries. makes, makes sense. It goes Garrett Cole at 15 to Scott white. So Scott white might double dip on the turn with pitchers. We'll see. I doubt it, but 
anything is possible. I do need two screens if we're gonna keep doing these drafts. I'll tell you that much. Um, and it's crazy can... how drafting in a different software, like Bubba's on tilt. You can just see. Look at look at everyone. Look at no. That. I've I've done a fan draft. I'm trying to like read the 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 comments from the group plus do my draft room because you know me on <laughs> one screen. This is this is what it's all about. Um, I'm on one screen right now too. So. Yeah, welcome to welcome to the caveman lifestyle. Yeah, Matt Olson and Garrett Cole for Scott White. It's a fun turn because Olson does have some uh, nice OBP skills, amongst other things, of course. But uh, okay, so for me, I guess I don't know if anybody else is listening coming through here. But as I'm, you know, hanging out in here, I would love Bryce Harper. I doubt that comes to me. That would be the perfect storm. But like. A Mike, Michael Harris is great, but not as valuable, I guess, in a weird way. Um, he's still very good in an OBP format. But uh, when it comes to these, I'm looking at like Harper, like I said. Um, Devers is always nice. There's really no steals in that uh, that structure. So we'll Are see. Are you thinking pitcher at all? Are you thinking pitcher at all? Not really. I, like, need, to, I need to know. No, yeah, I know you. Do. I'm not really thinking pitcher yet. No, that's the one thing. Even in the 15s that I've done, I feel comfortable waiting a little longer on pitcher. That might backfire in this league. We'll see how this picture goes. Harper right there. I think it's a great pick. Strider Harper combo is pretty strong right there for Thorne. But um, I doubt I go there. Like Big Meat Pete would be fun right here. All that power, good OBP skills as well. Uh, Devers, Devers would be awesome. He's an elite OBP guy. So. Uh, I'm actually impressed with Austin Riley's OBP skills, to be honest. So mm-hmm. there are a few guys. Riley, Devers could get a third baseman locked up, and uh, which would be way different from our normal third baseman conversations, Bloomfield, to get one of those two. So oh, I, I trust me, I'm I'm not going third base till uh, at least round 16 tonight. Like he's which, by to the get, way, people, he's trying to get in my head right there with that comment. <laughs> Matt Chapman, Matt Chapman has signed people. That looks like a steal late in labor. So uh, for, for the chat that was all over me there. Oh, this is, there goes Riley right there um, too. So Turner Riley combo is pretty pretty nice. Um, yeah. So well, well, you're looking pitcher. Is that what you're saying? Because Kevin Gossner, I heard, is looking real good these days. There goes Devers. So there goes that, that pipe dream. Um, I am thinking pitcher because I know, be, and I haven't been on the wheel much at all this year. So I know I'm not getting, I've, I've talked a lot about a top six set to seven aces, and that's now a top five to six with the Gossman news. Um, I know if I want to get one of those guys, there goes I might not even have the chance. I'm probably going to get stuck with Pablo again. Oh, shucks. Stuck with your guy. Like I, that, there goes Schwarber to, to Dr. Roto. I was actually starting yeah. to peek at him. That Tucker Schwarber yep. combos. Beautiful. Um, Schwarber in an OBP league is great. You are uh, you are two picks away, my friend. Yeah, if Seager is healthy, that'd be amazing, but he's not, obviously. You know, a guy I'd never play, but I don't do a ton of OBPs, Vladito's interesting here. I'm thinking about Vlad, too. Yeah. And, and, and uh, yes, chat, we will be an open book, as we already have been. I don't, you know, Seth's in the room listening, whoever else is in, is in the league listening, whatever. We're here to... Uh, here to talk through our strategy. So I'm if, I'm on the clock here, do it. and I think I'm gonna go with uh, Vladito. Damn it! We're, we're gonna have Good some pick. fun. We're, we're gonna have some fun in this draft. Uh, it's gonna be a little different out here. You're not bro. taking Alonzo? That's your boy, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're mixing things up here, Bloom. Keeping you on your toes in this draft. So Vladito joins Shoya. Two guys I have zero shares of in this draft season are on Team Bubba. Let's go. So now we're oh, where, where, are you, God. where are you pivoting to now, big boy? <laughs> yeah. I'm looking at Pete, but he's not going to make it to me. I want to be alert. Good question from Matt in the chat here. Do you guys prefer Olsen or Harper? I prefer Harper. I just put out my updated rankings. I have Harper at two, Olsen at four at first base, and I got a lot of feedback telling me I'm a dumb dumb for that. But I looked at ADP over the last week in OCs. They're a half pick apart, so you're grasping at straws in my mind. But I got Harper. What about you? Uh, he, he's I've on deck. Harper. I've got Harper too. Yeah, man. I don't know. I'm trying to throw <laughs> me off here. Alonzo got taken. DJ Short took him. That's a smart pick. I'm. Uh, will Will Luis Castillo go right here? I don't have any Castillo yet, and I'd like to probably get one. 
There you go. Ben Tid says, I just took six starting pitchers off my board today, so it has been brutal. Uh, injuries are cut in a plenty, yes. Yeah. Um, I have not seen Rona's pick. Yeah. Is he picked? Well, uh, while you're doing your thing, though, Yancey says, one more time, explain. Unlimited ILs, $1,000 fab. Um, I believe there are $0 bids, at least there was in the 12-team league. And um, no no midweek swaps unless that's different in this league. It's a one, one-week one lock-in deal. And when you add a player, you have to play them that week. Who the hell just went? Yes, yeah, Greg is right. Okay. I, do, okay. I do rankings. They are dumb. They are so dumb. Who would do those? I have no idea. You should just never rank anything. That is true. So, damn, chat, chat's poking the bear already. Yep, love it, absolutely love it. This is good stuff. That's why we love you guys. But uh, Bloom's on the clock. Thirty seconds to go here. Looking forward to seeing where he scrambles to on this one. God damn. Um, <laughs> here we go, Luis. Let's get a little. Let's get, get a little Mariner bo- flair, a little Pacific Northwest flair on the squad. Getting your boys. Getting your boys. I like to see it. Alonzo, I, I that would have been very fortunate if he fell. But, it would have, um, but it didn't happen. So happy to get and and it's interesting. Like with the Gossman news, these top starting pitchers, like there's just less supply. They will be going in the second round. So you're gonna That's flip quick. But obviously, Seth's in the chat, but he's on the clock. So where are you thinking here? Because Seth just <laughs> went with. Um, Gunner and Kirby. Anderson and Kirby. Okay. So we're yeah, it's leaving. fine that Seth's in the chat because I we I've got him cornered here on the wheel. Yeah. So it, it works out pretty really well. Matter. It doesn't really matter what I say. Plus, Seth shouldn't listen to it. Seth's a freaking amazing player. He, he crushed um, everybody apparently last year, so it's okay. In in draft champions and in uh Tout Wars. So um I am back up. Let's see. I know where I'm leaning, so I'm looking forward to seeing what you do first. Did Trey Turner go? Yeah, Turner went in the first round. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, thanks for paying attention, but it's okay. Um, that's the guy at the draft. Love the live draft. You just have to heckle, so now we're doing it here. He went in the first round, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> See, he doesn't listen to me either, people. I heckle him, and he just ignores me. It's, it's a beautiful situation. No, I'm trying either. to pay attention. Oh, he took he took one of my guys, Randy. Okay. Randy. Now, you know where I'm looking? I, mean, I don't have steals, so this could buy – well, Otani could run. I'm looking at Corey Seager here. Could be back by opening day. Miss a little bit of time. Massive OBP, dude. Um, I'm looking for Corey Seager on this one. Greg in the chat, correct. Two two dogs, two kids. Yeah, I made a call to the to the to the office, and I said, "Hey, can someone show up late home? Ryan needs to get distracted for the first few rounds of the draft." That's kind of the plan I had. There goes there goes Seager, there goes Pablo. So now I gotta. Dude, your your targets just got your cue just got smoked. Yeah, that was fun. Good time, folks. Appreciate you all. You hate that to was, see it. You, you do. You hate to see it. Um, I am on the clock. Lou Bob just went as well. Man, oh, Gosman just Dude, you're in staring. trouble. Yeah, I am. I'm in a lot of trouble here. Yeah, I'm going to pass on that. And wow, not a fan of this, but we're going to go with uh, Ozzy Albies. Not the best OBP dude, but still not bad and could get me a lot of power yeah. and speed. So I'll go Ozzy yep, Albies. I like it. Yep. I like it. What's up to Fantasy Feud? By the way, new podcast. Uh, highly recommend. Fantasy feud uh, with Sarah Sanchez and Shelly Verstrait. They are in here, and Shelly's in the draft. So I don't know if this is Shelly or Sarah. I think it, I think it's Sarah. Sarah joined us on this fantasy feud feed at uh, at the um, auction draft I did. So I'm pretty sure it's Sarah. But check out uh, check out Fantasy Feud podcast. It's one of the hey, Matt there, and it's uh, good. Matt said, "Take your boy Glass now." Yeah, I, um, I almost yeah, did. No. I almost did. If for some way he makes it back through here, I'll be a man and. Uh, I'll I'll take I'll take my guy. So anything like our other though. drafts, uh, Glass now will be available to you in the fourth. Yeah, because people are scared in here. I can, there goes Yamamoto by Shelly V. I love it. That ADP just keeps there. There goes Glass or Gossman to Ray Murphy. Ray's not scared. If Ray's, Ray's not scared. Not scared. We, I shouldn't be scared. Not, that could not, be. Yeah, misses a little bit of time. Who cares? That could be one of those deals. Let's see. Ray's got Michael Harris. Yeah, I, Michael Harris I was definitely looking at late second yeah, round. He's, um, he's I know big, the HQ projections on him are, 
are, are good and they, they should be. Um, should definitely be going in the second round of, of uh, average leagues for sure. Your boy just went. McLeod's in this. McLeod's in this thing. Two pitchers. Logan Webb, Corbin Burns, bang, bang, gang. I like it. I like it. Um, now it's going to start getting real fun is all I'm going to say because if you go by OVT. You're not going to have – this is a pitching run right here. I, I'm, we'll be interested to see what pitchers are available to you coming back if you want to go that route. Do you know who's not scared and has two thumbs? This guy. So we're good. There goes Adley Rushman, round three catcher in an OBP league. He has elite OBP skills. Don't I, get me yes, right. yes. I was yeah. gonna say. I, I think OBP. that's fine. I think that's. I think that's fine. It's not Adley, bad. on my projections here, three seventy OBP to get that from catcher is like. It's not bad. Is is wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't stink. I'll agree with that, but. Um, yeah, this is gonna get dicey here real quick, and um, like the fun is does Ellie, somebody somebody take a chance on uh, Mike Trout pretty soon? That could be fun. Also, should. very he pops. I was thinking about it. I'm looking at him. He's staring at me on these rankings, yep. and obviously yep. a health thing. But man, he just stares at me right now. OBP man, that guy is. And last year for, with Trout, it was not – it was a fractured hand. It was a fluky thing. It wasn't uh, – Exactly. You know, the, the previous two years. So I, I was looking yeah. at Trout actually at the 2-3 turn. So, yeah, so I would this, obviously still be interested in the board. So, yeah, I got Trout circled. If he finds his way back to me, we could have some fun with that. Again, I'll still be – well, at least I got Albies to go with Otani for steals because Trout ain't going to steal a ton either. But um, I doubt he makes it back to me. Let's put it that way. I'd be shocked. Um, he went uh, early fourth in the. I was comparing the Tau draft and hold. Um, Trout went in the early fourth there. So, yeah, Trout would be one I'd look at. It feels too early for our boy in Chicago, but say as a big OBP guy too. Was, uh, okay, our our boy in Chicago that narrows uh, it down. Well, what well, did you have multiple boys in Chicago? I'm not aware of. Yeah, no, not really. There was like Scooble. Scooble at the end yeah. of three. Scooble, we, we didn't mention Ellie. Ellie De La Cruz went okay. at the end of the third round pretty much. So that's later than we are normally used to seeing. Um, Which LBP is not bad. And there goes Trout. There goes yep. Trout. Thank yep. you, Scott White. Appreciate I, you. I think Trout, like, I think you take the risk in the third, fourth. Yeah. In an LBP league. It's I just, it's no crazy what he brings that. there. And you got the IEL spots. You can just keep stashing them every time. You don't have to worry about it and make the world go around in that scenario. So I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Um, do, do, that's not by far the top guy in 5x5 five five ADP that's still out there is uh, – well, not by far, I guess, but it's uh, C.J. Abrams. Yeah, that's still a tricky there. one. Just, tricky again, it's the walk rate. It's the walk rate. Yeah, like, it, he already has a bad batting average and – yeah, uh, Eric in the chat said Yelly time. I'm looking at that. Trust me, I'm thinking Yelly's a an option as well. Um, yeah, that'd be good. That'd be good. You, um, you should actually just take eight or nine hitters to start. Hey, and talk your trash and, and build that way. Trash, yeah, I think, talk I think your Yelly, trash. I think Ellie would be would Yelly. Be a Yelly, team. Ellie's gone already. Or Ellie, Yelly, whatever the hell he is. Yeah, just lock down, lock down OBP, and you can just laugh the rest of the way. So it's not an overall. We're going to make this work. I got some confidence in this one. But, uh, you know, Aaron Nola pitching is pretty much gone. This is hilarious. It is long gone. So so guess who's – I mean, I was joking, kind of half joking before. Glass now still there. Glass now still there. So I guess that's what I have to take, right? I just wish I could see more than two pitchers at a time in my freaking feed. God, fan tracks, you're killing me. Uh, Freddie's out there too. Freddie, yeah, Blake boys. Snell, Kodai, Freddie, Freed. No, there are dudes, I'm, dude. I'm getting nervous over Snell, man. Yeah, your, your, your conversation is starting to ring larger now. The more he's still sitting out there, it is quite concerning. I'm with you on that. That conversation was a week there goes ago. glass now. He, Dr. Roto, uh, the doc took him. That's a good sign for glass notes health. McLeod's got went Tristan Costas too. I like that. That's interesting. You got to you got to dial in here. 
I've you got, got to dial to di- in. That's, there have been I've no closures. I've got to tape. dial in. I've got to dial. I like how you say that. I've got to dial in. Okay. I'm, I'm, kids are, kids are peaceful. Yeah, you're you're Dogs doing good. Laying down. I'm locked you're, in here. You're, you're living the dream right now. I know you're good. Man, there's some interesting picks coming up. I got a few. Are, are you? Are you? Do you think you need to go pitcher or no? I'm not scared about. I'm not going to force my hand if it's not okay. there. You want to ran the first closer off the board right after you said it. The closer has been taken. Ray Murphy takes right. a closer. Here, we come, here comes and then Devin Williams. Here comes the closer run. Well, maybe I'll go that direction. Let's see if I could see closers because all the relief pitchers at the top are freaking starting pitchers. <laughs> like what in the world, Van Grass? I'm not even kidding. This is garbage product right now. Oh, I'm tilting over this than anything. This is beyond I horrible. I don't know if the chat can see Bubba's team name in the thing, but there was an unfortunate typo where he is. And Bubba and Karen. Aunt Karen. Uh, gonna... Freddy. Yeah, I guess Freddy. It's not what I wanted to do, but I can't see anything. So this is really beyond annoying me right now. So, yeah. I'm going to be a bad the streamer vision. pretty soon. That's not the vision. I literally have no players on my fucking board. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting <laughs> angry right now. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. I don't, dude. So you can move the line up and down. I know Bloomfield. I'll let me share my screen with you. No, I don't care about your screen. Like I can't <laughs> see anything. All right, there goes Yelich. I am up. Cruz and Abrams just went. Oh, this is this is tricky. Now I'm on tilt after talking too much too much to you. We will go. This all roll with them. Hey, I reloaded my draft and now it's working. Look at that. Now we can draft normal. Hopefully. All right, now we're good. So you went Machado? Okay, I was looking. Yeah, I'm not going to say what I was looking at, but third base was on my radar potentially. So There goes there goes my third base. Uh, I thought you were waiting uh, like 17 rounds for Matt Chapman. Not happening? Not happening. Not happening, okay. I'm hoping Seth. Okay, so I'm probably going reliever here. Didn't want to take a chance on uh, – Royce Lewis on that one? No. <laughs> no. That was a quick what are you talking about? no. That was a quick yeah, no. Yeah. That was so quick. is Seth going to go reliever or do I take – let's see. No, he went Bregman. Okay. All right. So I'll Bre- go Bre- – uh, See, Bre- as Machado Bregman is what I was looking at. So sums that up. Yeah, both, both mighty fine. Um, I might as well join the closer party because, well, it's not much of a party. I had only two people join. But yeah, you, you're trying to start the party or get the party going. Well, that's the thing on the wheel is like, I mean, I know, I'm pretty sure by the time it gets back to me in the sixth, like that top tier of closers might all be gone. So um, yeah. I was debating between Hayter and Edwin Diaz. I just, I wrote this in the speculator column at HQ last week. It's just, and since then he has, he has pitched. I don't know if it's been yeah. an actual grapefruit league game, but um, I just have an issue like assuming he's going to be fine a full year removed from a non, non-arm injury, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm confident in my, I'd be more concerned. Can the Mets win baseball games this year? That would be my concern. And I'm going to follow yeah. your lead. Here. I'm going to follow your lead here. Give me Camilo Duvall. Yeah, I like Duvall. Yeah, I, I actually would take Doval over Diaz, which I, you know, yep. I'm probably in the minority on that, but Doval's a little safer. All right, so yes. we survived that turn. You can see, you can see again. Yep. Yeah, I'm happy now. I don't know why I had to refresh it, but it is what it is. But um, yeah, Britt now wants to know when we're cracking a high noon. I'm gonna need one pretty soon. I have a feeling. Um, Sarah's drinking a rose. Good for you, girl. Have some fun. Someone have Cheers. some fun tonight. Yep. And now we're cruising. So now it's uh, it's on like Donkey Kong. I've got my Red Bull in the in the basement. I I'll crack something open later. But uh, this is too. 
you know, he's I actually too focused, won a everybody. This year, so yeah, he's nervous. No booze. He's never beat me before. No booze. So. Never I wonder when Royce Lewis is going to go. I'm really curious about that one. That's the Royce. Never, never so, beat you before. Well, not that I can remember in the last couple of years, at least. Not uh, not uh, in the draft room. Golf course, yes. Draft room, no. It's amazing how many catchers have pretty good OBPs, by the way. Just kind of looking at some of these. <laughs> it's kind of making me feel better about life again. Someone in but, the chat had an over under on when catchers would get brought up. Yeah, Mid fifth yeah. round for anyone, uh, for any books out there. Ray Murphy took Bellinger. I was kind of looking at Belly. I'm always curious of which Bellinger are we going to get this year, is my only concern. Yeah. Then they went Eflin, House on Kim, went to McLeod. McLeod's got Witt, Burns, Webb, Casas, Kim. This is a McLeod team if you've ever seen one before. It's beautiful. So there goes another closer. Yeah, good thing you got your closer when you did, Bloomfield. Class A. I just figured. I don't know. And fifth round isn't really paying up that much for a closer. I'm fine with it. No, you're good. You're good. You're an extreme. And because, Bed, I mean, Bednar's bed nurse hurt. I don't know how. You know, it's similar to that Gossman thing. It's just like there's potentially one less guy in that tier. It just makes it makes it tricky. tricky. Has Jazz gone yet? I believe I just saw him still in the queue. So let me check. I think he's still. No, there. he's not. He's still. He's still out here. Yeah, he has not gone. He's another one of those boomer bust type dudes to have some fun with. Uh, there's Lewis a lot of pitch- there. there's okay. a lot of pitchers man it's like a lot of the pitchers i like at least that second there goes brian reynolds that was one i was looking at pretty hard the last two picks Dude, um, solid that's a great pick by soap with soapy i don't i want to mispronounce it soapy or soap? uh, soppy 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 there, soppy there goes royce lewis there's uh thorn has ellie the other crews and royce lewis that's a heck of a start right there Depending ellie and your- royce Depending nice. on your um, level of stress, that's an interesting start. Yeah. Start out so. with Strider and they go four four bats in a row. Any Has everyone taken a picture at this point? I'm trying to get oh. caught up on the board here. <laughs> Looks like it. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure we have a full repertoire of, uh, of pitchers out there. Well, we're going to find out if I've people are two- listening. We're going to find out if people are listening soon because I'm going to take Seiya Suzuki if it comes back to me. That will happen. I'm going to start jumping jumping ADPs (laughs) and have some fun. Should I mark him? I mean, there is no ADP, really. Um, I know. Uh, Scott White. Should I just Just cross him off? Cole Reagans. Cross off Seiya? He will not make it back to you because I will take him if he makes it back to me. That will be my next pick if it comes this far. I will announce that with authority right now. So if someone wants to ruin my day, knock yourself out. Aggressive on Reagan's there, but that's life with the wheel. It's not yep. I mean Reagan is not coming back to Scott White at And that's one of so. that's one of White's guys too. So you kind of yeah. knew you yep. kind of knew he was gonna take him at some point. And yeah, we talk about that wheel many times that that's just a torturous spot to be in if get your guys basically like we talk about. Don't mind Rudy. Rudy gambles, uh, you know, starting three bats, and then you can go Framber, Logan Gilbert. Like that's yep. that's we kind of said that a little bit throughout draft season. Is you you can start three four bats in a row, yes, and that that kind of second tier of starters is good enough to you, you can catch up pretty well. Yeah, Evan Carter, I like a little yeah. bit more in OBP. I I had him on the queue just to keep in mind in the coming rounds because. A massive OEP guy. I'm just kind of concerned about all of the other things we've talked about. But uh, and then Rudy Gamble and I cannot be friends anymore because took William Contreras, so that's cool. But and enjoy. It's the best way I can so say. So William's that. the second catcher off yep. the board, right? Yep. JTR still out there, and I know, like I know William's got great OVP skills, but JTR stands out a little bit. So does his brother Wilson in this format. So here comes couple this good next wave of pitchers: Grayson Rodriguez, Joe Ryan. There's still all... so, still so many, so many. Yeah, so I got my cue. Like... I got my I got my cue for a while now, so we're we're good there. So you're going Saya? Yep, I'm going Saya. Uh, look at this. Is Shelly listening? Serious? Just cut to our stream. <laughs> yep, you're more than welcome to Are join we... in, folks. 
Are we on Sirius XM? Welcome. <laughs> better better clean up the language here. Um, yeah, no, say we talked about it, man. That second half he had great OEP skills, right. power speed. So glad Sirius cut over after Bubba's tirade against the draft room when he could <laughs> refresh. <laughs> uh, I felt like one of the olds having a good time there. Dude, you are an old man. Hey, my glasses Jesus. came in. I just gotta go pick them up, so it'll change things here pretty soon. You, you, you probably should have done that before the draft. I uh, life. Life happened. So, hey, I got one pick away. Shelly took Will Smith. So, Seiya Suzuki, I'm a man of my word. Come on down, buddy. It's probably too Good early, pick. but screw it. I love that. Guy. I don't think it is. And five outfielders is my first outfielder. Let's dance. Let's go, Seiya. Yep. So, That's where are you looking pick. at here? I didn't see Sarah. Oh, Sarah's I don't know. My top guy on, on, my, on the projections by quite a bit is Jazz Chisholm. Um, but, God, he freaks me out. God, he freaks me out. Even with a low OBP, I don't think I can do that. Uh, I, I do go pretty close to projections, but I certainly will override at times. Um, looking to maybe grab my second starter, perhaps a certain Jesus Lazardo, if he's out there. It's a good starter. He hasn't it? gone, right? No, yeah, he has not. He hasn't gone. Moose Joe's messing with us as we're gullible. Yes, you got us. Congratulations. Like we had plenty of time to take care of Sirius XM during this. All right. Mr. Lowe just went. And hey, Josh Lowe's Gosh, injury is kind of interesting. I'm kind of I was reading up on that earlier today. There goes Lazardo. Oh, there goes Lazardo. DJ Short goes wicked, wicked, wicked. Not so fast, my friend. Oh, yes, God. So. Yep. So where are you going? Delivery food is here. Am I up? You're on deck. All right. Apologies for the dogs. Food's here. It's all good. Better be good food. That's all I got to say. What are you doing? All right. I'm not up yet. God, this is... Ben Ted was asking, is Josh Lowe hurt now, too? He's dealing with... Uh, I'll pull it up again. I was looking at it earlier today. Um, they're expecting to have him back soon. But um, I'll pull it up right now. Do, do, Cameron, do. close the door, please. He Cam. had his on today's report from Mark Top Topkin. Josh Lowe said his left hip feels better. He'll be reevaluated today and could resume baseball activities in the next couple of days. He remains confident he'll be ready and full go in advance of the opener. So he's just banged up. Something to keep in mind. Jazzy Jazz, Eric's rooting for you. He says, "Take Jazz, let's go." Mm. Do it for the people, Bloomfield. Do it for the well, people. I don't do anything. I don't do anything <laughs> for the people. Don't be scared. For the people. Don't be scared. Fading the people. Dansby. The you were scared. Man, my I starting, mean, Jazz might make it back. My, my entire starting pitching queue has disappeared, by the way. It's gone from that last run. Like, just holy win. shnikes. So we're going to recreate a queue here and see what comes next. There goes a Glacius. My Lanta. Did not expect that many dudes to go. Like, what is with the starting pitching run in this league? What is wrong with people? There goes Bogarts. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, yeah, starting pitching. It's 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 wrecked. It, it's, that's the best way I could say it. It's, it's totally wrecked. It's wrecked. It is gone. <laughs> it is, it, like this is like the tier four and five pitchers that are left right now. Like Braxton Garrett's shoulders even hurt. This is a rough Holy go right here. Christ. Um, I'm back and forth between Jazz and two Marlins, which is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. So I'd go. Uh, we'll go Yuri Perez. I, I, I'm scared of what pitching blisters. Like come back the blisters. The blisters with Yuri. You. So there goes Andres Munoz. Okay, so there goes Jazz to DJ Short. So you took both your guys, Lazardo and Jazz. That's good. Um, I'm looking at Shoto Amonaga right here. So that's who I would oh. like. Give me, give me Shoto. Oh, we're having fun in this league, Bloomfield. Don't look now. It was either Amonaga because I'll look at all the all the injured players at the top of the pitching queue. Tanner Bybee is probably who I should take, actually. Yeah. That is your I mean, yeah. your Tanner, Tanner Bybee's. I won't. I won't. I could. I'll. I'll hope Amonaga makes it back. If not, I'll take Bybee right now and call it good. So Tanner Bybee will be joining Team Bubba as usual. Welcome to the party. There he goes. And now we wait and watch people take all my players. Um, 
Let's see. What do we got in the chat here? <laughs> Moose in quotes. Close the door, kids. I'm here kicking Bubba's ass. <laughs> um, yeah, Sarah's loving this. Bybee still available. Yeah, Mep took him for you. Um, Groflo, am I late? You're always late, but thanks for coming. We appreciate you, Willie G. You're welcome to Thunderdome. So here we go, Bloom. Oh, we round seven. How are we feeling? How are we feeling? Let's look at your squad here. We got Soto, Castillo, Randy, Machado, Hater, Swanson, Yuri. And you didn't even want Hater, but now you have haters. So how are you feeling? No, I want a Hater. He's, he's fine. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm lukewarm on Yuri today. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just wondering what the blister issues. But someone mentioned something. Someone smarter than me said it's because he's trying a new grip on um, one of his pitches, and so it's just a matter of kind of building up the new callus type situation. So we'll we'll see how that uh, how that plays out for uh, Yuri. There goes uh, there goes one JTR, the fourth catcher off the board. JTR. That's uh, Ray Murphy. I think got a really strong one right there in JTR. So. As a catcher for I, I support that fully. All right. I'll be right back. Mom, going mom. downstairs. Okay. Bloomfield will be back shortly. Um, Yancey Eaton says, I'm going to go on 82nd in the 15th NFBC league I'm doing for the Palazzo podcast. I like Shota. Shota's big. Um, so does uh, Nick Pollock, though. And that's going to push things up there. So that'll be fun as well. So we'll see how that keeps going. The guys I'm looking at, and I'll probably repeat it when Bloomfield comes, like Shota's a fun one. I kind of like Wilson Contreras right here. He still has amazing OBP skills as a catcher. So he'd be one to take a peek at for me at least. I wish Ian Happ's hamstring wasn't messed up. Um, Wyatt Langford is kind of interesting. There's obviously a ton of players, so we're only in round seven. Um, and we're we're drafting 29 rounds, so a long ways to go. But fun things to happen. Cedric Mullins and his hamstring just got drafted by uh, Sope. So we'll see where that goes. Dylan Seaston, you know, I just can't pull push the button on Dylan Seast. That's just a me problem potentially, but uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. But, yeah, I, I agree with Sarah here. She says it's, it's wild how much Wilson drops in OBP leagues. I agree, and he's still a great OBP player. So pretty crazy stuff there. I'm back. Can you hear me? Yep, you're good. Welcome to the Look at Britt, Britt Allen. Child's play six, revenge against Ryan Bloomfield. <laughs> yeah, not only am I going up against you and 13 others, but that was uh, that was tricky. That sounds like an excuse to me, but okay. Uh, we're on the turn for Evan White here. Or <laughs> Scott White, I saw Evan Carter uh, at the 7-8 turns. So I'm looking forward to where he's just – and literally, Scott White, he's just getting his dudes, which is what you do, you do on the turn. But Cole, Olsen, Scooble, Trout, Reagans, Carter, that's a – Scott White squad, if I've ever seen one of my – there goes Chirio. Scott does like a prospect or two. So, um, yeah, it's fun fun stuff early on here, Bloomfield. I don't know how you – Two prospects. Yeah, I hope, I hope you're feeling better now. You know, you get to kind of bunker down now and uh, yeah, try, try to beat me. Who's on my team again? We talked about it a second ago, but, yeah. Um, you got uh, Soto, Castillo, Rosarena, Machado, Hater, Swanson, Yuri. You said Yuri is your biggest concern, pretty much. That's that's league winning stuff right there. Yeah, never. Yeah, you know, you always win your leagues in the first seven rounds. That is definitely a proven fact. So I'm glad you can get the trophy there. That's good. We'll see how the rest of this goes for you. And then we can uh, test your skills at uh, on Roto Fab later. What about what about what about your squad? Who? What's your least favorite pick? I like uh, all your picks, honestly. Yeah, that's, that's cute. Uh, Otani, Guerrero, Albies, Peralta, Doval, Suzuki, Bybee. I I love Peralta. Peralta as an SP1 always scares me. That got to be the, the thing for me, I think, just because yeah. of, I guess, the volatility per se of Peralta. I love him as an SP2, as an SP1. It's kind of not the greatest feeling in the world, but again, the pitching was nuts. and that, I, I don't want to succumb to those kind of runs. That was just too wild for me. Yeah, it's funny how, like, I, and speaking for me, I talk up Peralta quite a bit, just given the way he ended and was one of the best pitchers in baseball. But I have not drafted him yet. He is a tough yeah. click as SP1, given the yeah. the lack of volume from that spot. 
yeah, it's not like the most comforting pick in the world. Let's put it that way. So we'll see. But man, there's so many injured players right now on these tops of the dude. So much, yeah. So much of this is going to be who avoids the next freaking run of injuries because it's been pretty, pretty. It has been tough. There goes Cal Raleigh, the fifth catcher off the board. If uh, Wilson drops to me, I think I'm going to take him. I think that's going to be the move for me. Okay. A little, little early for um for you to yeah, start he, taking catchers. but ADP is right. 193. He's just, his OBP skills are off the charts compared to some of these other guys. And um, I'm not saying that's what you have to do, but for the, the plate appearances he'll bring, like Logan O'Hoppies is great too, but he... Um, he'd make for a good catcher too with Wilson later on, but just saying. I just hate to be left out because it's one thing in a in an average league with catchers, in an OBP league, if you don't, you can get left out to dry with a sub three hundred OBP guy, and that really hurts your team, in my opinion. GTR seventh round to Ray, that's yeah, that's big, that's big boy stuff. Ray's got a good thing going there. All right, we'll see. You got your boy Duran. Gossman, Harris, Freeman. That's a U team. I got plenty of those guys. Plenty yeah, those that's guys. A, that's a Bloomfield. That's, that's you know what that tells you, folks. That's an HQ team, is what that is. Hey, we are company men. Yep. Um, damn, there's some dudes out there, man. Yeah, no, there are. I was kind of reading through some when you're coming down the stairs. I'm like looking at <laughs> my cues, and there's a handful of guys I wouldn't be opposed to. Let's put it that way. I, I can bob and weave at the moment and kind of feel okay about life. There goes Muncie. I was waiting to see if Murphy took him. I was wondering when someone yep. would take the OBP Muncie. Now I'm on the clock. There goes Bailey over. Do I go Wilson Contreras? It does feel a little early, but I love Willie. Locks up catcher. Let's put Contreras on Team Bubba. There he goes. All right. All right. Wilson like Contreras, it. Wilson Contreras, ADP be damned around this place. Where are you looking now, Bloom? It's your turn. I'm up. No, but you're next is what I'm saying. So where are you thinking? You know, you're, you're finally um, in your layer. You're comfortable. You can focus. Yeah, it's so hard. Like catcher, I, I am starting to look at catcher because there, there's like Murphy, Diaz, Ohapi. That's that's kind of, and then there's a little bit of a cliff. It's just hard. Like I don't have it, like hard coded. How in my brain, how good these guys are in OBPs. You like you see catchers. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Like it, you, in an average league, they all kind of will sit around two thirty ish average, give or take. After a while, here the OBP drops tremendously, and it just changes your team setup. In my opinion. Yeah, it. Um, like Yiner Diaz, his OBP is awful. Yeah, it's not good at all. Like he falls way down, or not way yeah. down, but but compared to like in an average league that we're used to drafting, it changes yeah. a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, but that is the beauty of having Juan Soto first. I can start taking some OBP. You can to an extent, yes. Trains. Um, I'm gonna go one of Yiner or who the hell's the other catcher? Oh, Hoppy. That's but coming back to me. That's only if Seth if Seth's listening and double taps closers, that will that will that will throw a wrench into my plan. Um I am not gonna go catcher now because I really like Ian Hap. Yeah, I was looking at Hap. I'm wondering about his hamstring, but otherwise I'm I like <laughs> every time I pick a guy, you say he's hurt. <laughs> yeah, he's got a hamstring issue. He's hoping to be ready for opening day. <laughs> I said it live on the stream, like when I was going through my. Key. Yeah, while my dog was barking and my kid <laughs> was freaking. What's wrong with Hap, dude? He's got a hamstring injury. Oh, Seth was going to take Hap, so you got him. You got him. There we go. Thank you, Seth. Unlike unlike Bubba, making me feel better. Mild hamstring will be ready opening day. Come on. Hey, I had him in my queue. I liked him. I wasn't saying I didn't. Um, Seth played the closer game quite well. Uh, he, he waited and got Rysel Iglesias all the way back at the five, six. I thought that was sweet. And then he just took Clay Holmes as well. So that's a good one. I like it, but yeah, I'm going to go catcher here. Um, God, oh, Hoppy or Diaz. Oh, Hoppy. There goes Arenado. I go, I'm not, not even just my bias, just OBP wise. It's a Hoppy. 
What is Ohapi? Ohapi's OBP is only like 20 points better than Diaz. Mm -hmm. uh, Do what you wish. <laughs> oh, I will. Yeah, I know. I know. You got 30 seconds to pick Ohapi, so hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still getting settled down here, man. <laughs> Good hell. All right. Screw your Ohapi. We're going to Einer. Oh, I can't wait for this season. God, this is going to be great. Screw Love your Ohapi. Is Yiner, does he have some sort of ailment I'm not aware of, too? No, just poor OBP skills. That's it. There's T. That's Oscar. Fine. I've been looking at him for a bit. So I'm on deck. There goes Ohapi to DJ Short. He keeps taking all the guys. <laughs> You were debating. <laughs> yeah. Hey DJ, good to good thanks to for listening. listening to the yeah, <laughs> thanks for listening to the pod. Appreciate you. Appreciate appreciate the view. <laughs> I, I would do it if I was him too. I got zero qualms with that. I'm looking at uh, Ryan Helsley, honestly, in my second closer right here. Yeah, I I might should I might should have thought that's a good sentence. I might should have thought about a second catcher there, but or second closer. But. Remember, he's not baseball speaker of the year. He's a past baseball writer of the year, folks. So it's okay. Yeah. I have Grammarly to help me out. <laughs> there goes uh, Casty. So I will take Ryan Helsley. Oh, speaking of bad OBP skills at catcher, here's Greg in the chat. Salvador Perez drew 19 walks last year, six of which were intentional. Yeah, wow. he's, a, he's a horrific, horrific OBP guy. Oh man, who'd you take? Helsley. Helsley. Yep, got my two closers. Yep. Now it's time to focus on things. Let's see where the draft goes. Here goes Yandy, big time OBP guy to Shelly V. We'll see what HQ guy Murphy takes now, just to continue to round things out here. We should we should play a game? Who's Ray going to take next? Because it just it's trendy. Let's see where that goes. But so basically, all the catchers are gone or closers are gone. Yeah, I, I pulled yeah, up in the key. You got you got Scott, Alzale, Kimbrell, a couple others maybe, but those it's it's dwindling quickly through that uh, you know top twenty we liked that we talked about on the show. You're, you're starting to run out of real estate there. There goes Scott right there to Murphy. So yeah, real estate's dwindling for you in that regard. Ray took uh, Tanner Scott. Yep. Yeah, we took Tanner Scott. So his second closer. So a bunch of teams getting that second closer. That's so you'll have one at least. So that's good. Yeah. Um, Jordan that's Romano, fine. Mark Jordan says I thought Romano. Was Romano gone. got taken, I think. Yeah, he should he, Romano should be gone. Um, yes, yes, it was a great pick by Shelley. The Andy Diaz. great pick by Shelley. Um, nit to pick with this draft room. I'm trying to see like if Alexis Diaz was taken, but with Control F, you can't. <laughs> There's Alexa, like a lot of Alexis, DSs that have been Alexis taken. was to Thorn <laughs> took Alexis Diaz. Yeah, yeah so. I, I saw that. But uh, there are two Y Diaz's that yeah. went. In this you game. were going down the stairs when Alexis Diaz was picked. Yeah. There goes both, both. there goes New Velocity Bieber. What are your thoughts on that New Velocity Bieber? Because I still have drafted zero. I mean, it's very encouraging. I think it's just you know, does he hold? Does he hold it? And if so, for how long? I mean. I don't know, but he's not that old. Bieber, Bieber's not that old. He can... Uh, there goes Volpe and his horrific OBP skills in season one. I'll say season one. But so you, you'd be okay with uh, with taking a chance on him, huh? Yeah. On Bieber, yeah. I, yeah. I would be. Okay. And I might need... I mean, I, how many starters do you have? I've only got two, and one of them's injured. I only have, I only have two. Peralta and Bybee. Now, I would take a Monica if he comes back to me now. Shota would be on my team right now if he okay. comes back. Not sure that he will, but I would take that chance. I am seeing a lot of good outfielders still out there. I guess yeah, I have a lot on my queue right now. A lot. Definitely. Yeah. Maybe I won't take them on. I guess still we'll see. That's what I want. To, <laughs> that's what I want to dude, take. You're, this, you're this out there with them. I mean, that dude, ADP is like 13th round, man. I like him a lot. This is round I mean, 11. This is round 9. Okay, we're, we're, we're moving Yeah, we along. started talking about him. There around. goes Wyatt Langford. That was one. Like, if he somehow swindles back to me, I'm interested there. But Rudy right. Gamble took the gamble on Wyatt Langford. Round 6, Bubba's, Bubba's talking about Amonaga here. Hey, got to start seeing who's listening to the show and who's not. Early, set the tone. Uh, thank you, Dennis. Great job, guys, on your podcast. Big fan and listener. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. 
Uh, Britain says, please tell us your picks so far. It's hard to read on my computer, the picks. Um, I've gone Soto, Juan Soto, Luis Castillo, Arosa Reina, Manny Machado, Josh Hader, Dansby, Yuri Perez, Ian Happ, and Yiner Diaz. Um, Aunt Karen has gone uh, <laughs> Shohei Otani, Varito, Albies, Freddie Peralta, Doval, Suzuki, Bybee, Wilson Contreras, and Ryan Helsley. I'm, I'm liking the build. It's just um, 15 team leagues. Like we always say, there's going to be a hole somewhere, and I'm trying to figure out where my hole's going to be on this team. There goes Chris Sale. God, that's a good yeah, gamble with the Langford Sale. That's a great combination. Golly gee. That's yeah, a good, good. Good. It's a good, good one. Job, Sale Rudy. does look good. And that is someone who, like, I He's definitely am looking at boards. spring training stuff with him. Yeah, let me put this guy for sure real quick. I do appreciate that Fantrax does have a separate draft board because last year we had to use this board. And then we if yeah, we I remember that with our with our queue. That would remember suck. that. Yeah, I remember that. At first, I remember I pulled up the wrong draft board. I had to manually refresh it while yes. I was drafting. That was rough. That was a rough go. But I found but a better one. Live and learn. Things change. So I am worried about starting pitching. Maybe I'm a little over paranoid, but like I think you're a little God, over paranoid. It's it it's rough. I'm not gonna say it's not, but I think you're a little little beating yourself up on this one. All right, take your word for it. At least that's the way I experienced a different 15 I did recently. I just, you know, are they the best starting pitchers you're trying to take later? No, but can you survive? I think so, yes. Put it that way. And and at what point do we go on Christopher Sanchez watch? Oh, uh, we're going to see who really pays attention to what you talk about. Let's put it that way. He's been going like, it's funny. It's like 18th round. I've, I was getting him early and then in draft Ooh. season, then 16th, and now he's going like 14th round. So probably right after Shoto a month ago. <laughs> no, I don't know what your deal is with that guy, man. I, I, I mean, do it for you on that one. That was a hundred percent me being a dum dum. <laughs> uh, Walker Bueller, an interesting pick again. Uh, IL slots, so presumably Bueller, if he's not in the opening day rotation, I would think he gets designated on the IL, and so it doesn't cost Kyle really at all. If anything, it opens up a fab spot. I think we run a fab the Sunday before opening yeah, day so. we did last year at least in the other one we did so i'd imagine so man so many good outfielders left like you're saying i'm scrolling through this yeah i think i might need to go starting pitcher here and just to there's christopher sanchez better put him in my queue no dude <laughs> <laughs> if you get him man that's gonna be messed up oh there goes james outman i was looking at him um I would like I would like Chaz McCormick right here. That's who I would like. We'll see how that plays out, but that is who I would like at this point in the draft. There goes Edward Julian, a sneaky, actually good OBP guy. Edward yeah. Julian, sneaky. Yeah, guy. that's one like out of nowhere, but yep. um, I can see it. Doctor Roto going from <laughs> trying to make some noise again here. I just really want Chaz because I need some stolen base help on my squad. So that 2020 appeal sounds really nice if you could float to me. And you're not going to take a closer. You've got two. I got trying two. to map out to what's coming back there. to me. I don't think I've got Kimbrel in the queue. I doubt he makes it back. No, not anymore. No, not that you announced it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we always say we're going to be an open. Oh, book, I know. So. I know. Um, yeah, Sarah's talking about Sanchez going earlier. Mark Jordan, 381 OBP for Julian. Uh, Ray Murphy just took Willie Adamas, who was uh, hitter-wise on my projections very good. far above everyone else remaining. Okay, there goes Chaz time for me. Beautiful. Love when my guys actually come to me. That is none Chaz? To... Yeah, Chaz McCormick. Need steals. Need steals, 2020 guy. I'm higher on him than some, for sure, but I, I believe in the full-time role in Houston. So give me some Chaz McCormick. Bryce Miller, I like it. Let's do a little Kimbrel, people. Come on, Mike. Gianella's Gianella's up. He doesn't have a closer, so that's who you should be scared about. It's Kimbrel time. Do it. I'll speak it into existence. Do it. The reverse jinx. The reverse jinx. 
Kimbrel, that'll be fun. Yeah. How many games is there? Goes Rodon. Interesting. Interesting. So Hoppy and Rodon for short. I like I like Short's team. He yeah, he's he always drafts really well. Yep, I like that. See how it keeps going here. Man, man. So many bats I like. So many bats I like. What to do, what to do, what to do. Got that going for me. Wish I had a spreadsheet like Bloomfield to tell me how screwed my stats were. That'd be great. Where do you see – where can you see your team? Okay, there we On go. On the right-hand side there, bottom right. Yeah, yeah, I got it. All right, so you going to get him? You're up. Kimbrel time. No, you got to Oh, Kimbrel it. went to GNL. I just saw that. Never yeah. mind. <laughs> oh, so where are we going? Hilarious. Hilarious. I thought it was. Um, is Adbert Alzale still out there? Yeah, Alzale still there, dude. Yeah, but I don't need to take a closer like right now because uh, Seth's got two of them. I don't see strategy coming into play. Smart move. Smart um, move. God, do I need? Do need I Christian, need? Christian I need to make a pick. Is what I need to do. Yeah, Twenty seconds. So I'd recommend picking somebody soon. Maybe Christopher Sanchez. Um, will anyone take the new Red Sox? Um, not sure who he's referring to there. The new Red uh, Sox. Yeah, not who he's, who he's referring. I know most are not high on Barrios, but he looks great this spring. I think Barrios is very good. I was one of those guys that said, why not last year? So there's definitely something to be intrigued by with Jose Barrios. I'm not going to be opposed to that. Just now you took my outfielder. You suck. Taylor Ward? Yep. That's yeah, he was He was out there. He's He was up there on my, my thing. He was next on um, my agenda. There goes God. Barrios right there. So there you go in the, in the chat. You think Alzale is uh, the guy in, in Chicago, huh? He is for now. Until proven otherwise, he is. Pretty sure Sarah will back that up in the chat, too. I love Alzale. Skills are ridiculous. just a matter of will they keep I'm, him I'm back and it. forth. Between yes, that's an emphatic all caps yes from Sarah Sanchez. <laughs> well, I can blame someone if it doesn't uh, go for once. Between him me. and between Alzale and Jansen, like, this is, these are the last two closures before the – the legitimate Wait, cliff that we all were talking caps, about for Alvarado. All caps. We got it all caps. All, all right. Alzale Thank you, Sarah. Guy. Yeah, I take Alzale over Jansen all day because Jansen might get traded before you know it. So well, then he's hurt. So you know. Yeah, well, you like that part of it, so you could take that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love the chat. Alzale is the guy, and then our buddy the knob comes in until they give it to Merriweather. Um, that's possible that's what happens when you wait on closers though folks you're you're this is the point where it's like yeah well they got the job for now nope i trust i trust sarah i trust sarah yep yep no reason not to so we're third of the way through the draft basically give or take and um I'm liking things. It's just I'm on deck already couldn't so we've got our two closers we've got we each took a catcher We've got two starting pitchers. You probably need a third starting pitcher. That's what I'm those is gonna pull up. That's gonna uh, let's just do it. Let's get it over with. Let's get it over with. Um there was there was a Hector Neris mentioned both by Sarah and and Greg that uh Neris might be the stash and maybe like a last round stash for me just in case. Oh, we're we're handcuffing yeah. closers now on this draft. That's that's what we're doing. In the last round, if it doesn't no. work, I'll cut him. It's fine. Okay. I'm not. I mean, that's that's a fine strategy if you do I'm it just, once. I'm joking. I'm joking. It's kind of can't get in my bit. head, man. Oh, I'm past that point. Dude, I wish your draft room still wasn't working. That would have been. Oh, I was about to lose it. Something was about. To... <laughs> it was. I can tell, man. Oh yeah. You don't was... normally drop the f bombs. But... No, no, I was so annoyed because I couldn't. It's like not, even when I tried to see stuff, I couldn't see it. It was such a bad, bad situation. Um, by the way, our boy and Merrill Kelly going back to back is is that's awesome. Our boy Legit got the big screen going tonight, though. By the way, he Eric's got the big screen up. He, he, he tweeted it out there. That's glorious. It's sad that my face has to be on there, but it's nice that he's doing it. But yeah, now we're we're moving here, and I got to kind of figure out. Got three pitchers, starting pitchers, two closers. I'm feeling better about that. Uh, the Pavetta Kelly is a nice one there, especially with Pavetta now the ace in Boston. 
So that's fun. There goes Hunter Green. That's a fall right there, folks. It is. That's it is. a massive fall to Nino. Or, I always screw up. I'm sorry. I, I, I screw up the name. Rotoballer himself. I've done some stuff with him, and I still can't talk. Who? But um, Hunter Green's very interesting. Very interesting this late. Oh, Nino. Okay. Um. I'm trying to figure out where I need to go. I still have no third base, but no shortstop, no CI, no MI, three outfield spots to go. So, yeah, I did. I did just see Eric's uh, projector tweet. That is beautiful, man. Well yep. done, sir. Yep, you, sir. We appreciate you. <laughs> That's all I can say. We appreciate you, um, man. It is kind of tempting. I just, I hate. I already have too many guys. I feel like that don't steal enough. I still, but I have. I have Otani, Albi, Suzuki, McCormick. So I have steals. I'm not like bad on steals. Like a Jorge Soler is enticing right now. Yep. It's very enticing. TJ Friedel's not bad, obviously, but if I'm talking power, Soler is a great option right now. Jake Berger's who I'm looking at, though. I know. He, damn it. And damn just you. Went, just went. Oh, just he just went. Scott White. Yeah. yeah. He Berger was hanging out, dude. I was looking at the last couple of rounds thinking about. Taking on some, but yeah, literally Scott White's Holt. It's everyone I've heard him talk about. That's the and another thing. prospect, Jackson Holiday. Yep, he could just be auto drafting over there at this point. In time. When's he gonna take Junior Caminero? That's what I'm waiting for next. Um, so you know what I might do here? I might stick with Team Bubba if it comes back to me, and we might go Tyro. Might be Tyro time. Play him at shortstop. Tyro time. Yep, might be Tyro time here. Okay. okay. It's either I'm gonna say this one. It's either Tyro or Jaron Duran. That's where we're going right about now. Those are the two picks as long as one of them's left. It's either Tyro or Jaron Duran. That's where I'm sitting. We'll see who's listening to the stream. You're welcome. Daniel, but, uh, I'm just trying to I'm still trying to get caught up, man. Both both so both bad. got the both got speed, both got some pop, both top of the order bats. Obviously, one line is gonna be better. Well, the Giants line has gotten a lot better, actually. So I can't clown on it a ton. Um yeah, Sarah loves Duran. A lot of people love Duran. It almost worries me how much people love Duran. Um, Duran is gone, I think. No, he's still there. Looking at him in my queue, Eric. He's there. He's still there. Uh, unlike Ryan, I know who's gone and who isn't. So we got that going <laughs> for us. Dude, this is bizarre. Normally, by the 11th round, I have uh, like one outfielder. Now I've got four. It, it, it feels good, doesn't it? No, well, it doesn't. It's, it's like your drafts last year, though, where you had so many people. I know. But like on my sheet here, the top freaking six dudes are all outfielders available. So yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, Yancey saying Durant wasn't he hurt today? Um, it's it's one of those banged up ones I was reading too that he's expected to be back here real soon. I'll read you the latest. I actually foot injury, right? Yeah, I read it something on it just before the show. Um, he was removed from the game after shaking his foot, diagnosed with tight ankle, and expected back in the lineup on Thursday. So, not overly concerned with Durand. Um, yeah, so that answers all those questions to everybody in the chat. Uh, Chris Bassett just went. I was looking at him because uh, I'm looking at starting pitchers. You should. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. There goes Bo Naylor. Dr. Roto's loving Dr. Roto right now. Bo Naylor's a good OBP dude. There goes Moreno, also another good OBP catcher. So, Lisa, looks like I'll have my pick of uh, Tyro or Jaron Duran. There goes Alec Bohm. Uh, let me check something just real quick for the funsies. Yeah, I don't like any of that problem. So, that's not bad either, though, if I want to risk it later. Yeah, we're gonna go Tyro and get it over with. My OBP is three seventy. Talking to myself here is the beautiful thing about the clock. Yep, we're gonna go Tyro Estrada. That is happening, and the pick is in. Hmm. Lukewarm on on Estrada and OBPs. Yeah, I get it. I three, get it. Three hundred nine projected OBP on my on my deal. All right, because your and your and your deal's gospel, so it's okay. I mean, it's the next best thing, really. Pretty sure I've built up a pretty solid OBP core up to now that I can take that chance. So. Yeah, and that that is, I mean, yeah. As the draft goes on, I hate to break it to people. OBP guys start OBP to go down as well. Start to go down. Exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, now, if Duran came back, that'd be pretty sweet. 
That that would be nice. Matt Lee, he mentions uh, Noel V. Marte. Yeah, always a fan of Noel V. Well, I'm up. Well yeah, who are you going with? That, that was a quick couple picks there. So, uh, Salvi, Kai Bear, there goes Jaron Duran to uh, Ronish. This is tough. Like I'm him? actually thinking Sonny Gray. Like, this is a fall. Yeah, cool. And it's he, not that he's bad of an injury. Like, on the IL. Could miss a start or two, but the or hamstring. Three or four or five or six. You never know. Um, was, that out, was that out loud? God, you know who's still available, too? It's freaking Kenley Jansen. Yeah, you want to get another closer? Go for it. Yeah, three closers. Just lock it up. Uh, this is killing me. I'll go. I'll go Pepio. I'll go Pepio. I haven't had him. I haven't taken him much. But I like. Oh, I like how you mentioned all those other names. Then I'll take Pepio. But I might Um, take Gray on the rebound, man. Ben wants to know: Do you have a team OVP target you're shooting for? I'm a caveman, so I have no targets. But Uh, three. The hell? Well, let me pick first. Who just went? You Darvish. Yeah, Stephen Kwan and you Darvish. I love you Darvish because he falls in drafts. I'll take that upside all day long. I know I'm kind of crazy, probably on that regard, but I'll take the chances. Speaking of take chances, I'll go Sunny Gray. There you go. I'm going to be talked about for years to come on uh, certain shows. Mild hamstring. It's fine. Mild. He's yeah. fine. He can sit with Ian Happ with the rest of your team. It's okay. And, and Yuri Perez with yep. the, blisters. With chopped off finger. Uh, my OBP target is, and this is based on third place last year in this league, is 334. And right now, actually, that's a nice opportunity for me to check my stuff. So 334 OBP target with 21 homers, 13 runs, 13 steals per player. I'm at 362 OBP. So Jesus, I've got an OBP cushion. Uh, 26 homers. Thank you. And I'm, Soto. I'm right at the uh, stolen base target at 13. So yes, thank you, Juan Soto. Um, if anything, if I want to be totally balanced, which again, you don't need to be in tout wars. It's a trading league. It's not overall. You can be middle of the pack and steals and be just fine in this league. But, uh, that's kind of where I'm at. So yeah, I've got a 30 point cushion in OBP. That feels, feels good. Thought about Brian Wu. DJ short just took Brian Wu in the 13th. Yeah, Wu's good. Andrew, Andrew Vaughn's guy has been growing on me in multiple formats. I like that as well. Um, whew, it's about to go down. Let's have some fun. <laughs> What's about to go down? Your 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 squad? No, nope, we're gonna start getting some more of my guys potentially. Who we got? Wait, where did he go? Did someone draft him? Uh oh, you mother! Worst of... feeling in yeah, dude. You got thirty second. Worst feeling. No, I know. I I'm hate good. that. Someone drafted him. I'm surprised he went that early. Someone jumped up and got him. Okay, I hate that. I'll take Erod instead. Okay, yeah, Erod was. Yeah. When did Brendan uh, when did Brendan fought go? I didn't notice he went. He wasn't in. I'm looking for he him. I, I had him queued up and I can't find him anywhere now. I even typed in his name. No, he's available. The, what the f fan graphs or fan <laughs> <laughs> This is good. It's about to get fun again, boys and girls. Yeah, he is not on my screen anymore. Support fan graphs, by the way, people. They put out he's, a state. He's, of he's the, completely uh, out of my player pool right now. Because so I had him in my queue and everything. Do you have like type, another? I'm typing in his found I'm typing know, in his I'm typing in his name. He's nowhere to be found. You gotta be kidding me. That's what I was gonna take. Sweet. Um Kelly or Kelly. Jeez. Shelly took Kenley in the 13th oh. round. That that was a fall. Uh, because like I said, I almost took Kenley in the eleventh. So that was a nice a nice grab by Shelly there. Yeah, <laughs> Greg in the chat. The P is Britain says the P is silent, Bubba, and, and it's it's not P H A T. It's P F A A D T. I'm trying everything to not swear you on the show right now. So, so uh, uh, you might want to check check what you typed in there, man. I want to share? I'll share my screen again if you'd like to see what I've been typing in. This again, is... we we don't care about your screen. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to get me to go could, we off couldn't the rails care today. less about what your screen looks like I, I will actually i would like to see what it looked like at the beginning <laughs> let's go back to that uh-oh yeah. what do we crack that's just the celsius uh, i thought we were getting to you 
I thought you're we not, were getting you're, to. You are not getting to me. The product that we are utilizing to draft is getting to me. This draft, I feel like, is going super it's fast. fast. I'm loving it. I'm not. I I'm can't tell who the hell my screen, though. Maybe Fod will show up again. Solaire, Nimmo went, right? Oh, God. And I refresh my screen, and I'm Brendan Fod's back. You got to be kidding me. I think you just, I think you spelled it right this time. You, got, you guys don't think I know how to spell Brendan Fought these days? Like, I have him drafted everywhere. I don't know, man. It's just full tilt mode. P H A T. P F A A D T. Brendan Fought. All right. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I'm, I'm queuing up some more pitchers. I don't know why. I'm... There goes Cutis Singa. I was wondering Cutis when Senga. someone will take a chance on him. Yeah. Um, Put him on the IL right out the gate. Exactly. Exactly. That's that's fine at this point in the draft. I say that. We're well. It's, yeah, it's the 14th round now. I think I actually deleted Senga off my sheet. Yeah, so I guess I don't which have to cross I, him off if he doesn't which exist. That, which is ironic with your decisions on injured players. Yeah, at least I have Brandon Fott on my sheet. I do now, too, apparently. Uh... I like your... your your um, So it's interesting how you built your rotation with Freddie up top. Mm -hmm. I like how you back that up with volume, guys. Vibe. Mon Monaga and Erod. I guess e I don't know if Erod's a volume guy, but I, I think 160 he's innings or so. Yeah. Yep. 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 As long so. as he can get the keep the whip under control, which is a big F for him, he'll be just fine. Yep. So we'll see. Now it's the this decision time on do I really pound the pitching and get Brennan Fott, or do I go back to my? <laughs> Fott, I mean, Fott could very well make it back to you, man. He could. I love him though. Like I, I'm a big believer in what he could do this year. <laughs> That's why it was very frustrating. That was awesome. I love the comment from Greg. <laughs> yeah, and Britain, Britain, the, the 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 F is silent or the P is silent. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Britain came new, through. The P new is nickname, silent. new nickname for Britain fought the Aardvark. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, maybe it's a sign to diversify. Probably. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna put that one in the chat. I I, I I know which one you're talking about. We we don't want to see your screen. Man. Oh, that's a good one though. That's a good one, Moose. Good one, Moose. Well, well played. I'm gonna throw that one up. Okay, uh, so they're coming back to me here. Alvarado just went. Yep, I was just gonna say we we have our lone our lone that's closer just, in this. That like goes with Classe. Pocket. It's done with Classe. Um. If you're going to wait that long on second closer, Alvarado, at least we think he's going to start the season as the closer, and who knows how long he lasts, but you got to start. Lang. See what Dr. Roto does. He keeps taking a lot of guys I like, so I'm curious to see what he does here. And he went with Henry Davis, who's already got catcher eligibility. Look at that. That's impressive. What? He's got the color square for a catcher, so I'm assuming he Interesting. does. I, uh, I, don't I, don't know. Know how, Maybe. I don't know how that was possible, but... It says outfield util, but let's click on his name real quick. I don't know if anyone in the chat can look up. Did Henry Davis play 15 games? I don't think so. I'd be shocked if he did. But it does make me think. I kind of want to take. I kind of want to take Ryan Jeffers because the I think, catchers. I have a cool. feeling Ray's going to take Christopher Sanchez. I hope he does. I after have all a bad the feeling all, about after this. all the stuff you just gave me, I hope Christopher Sanchez. I hope he takes it down to like five seconds. I have a he, bad feeling about this. This, do it. Come He's on, Ray Murphy. Seconds. Taking a sweet time to just really make you sweat this one out, Bloomfield. Nope. Oh, Mayo. he went with, I with saw his the, red I saw sock. the pitcher color. I was like, oh, no. There goes Trevor's story. Yeah, I'm going to go Ryan Jeffers just because the catching player pool has really fallen off the map when it comes to OBP. Okay. So I'm going to go there. All right. Yep. Now, and then I'll get back to our regularly scheduled program. So now, where are you going on this one? Uh, oh, Yancey Eaton. It's Christopher, by the way, Bubba. <laughs> the H is silent. Yep. Oh, that's great. Yeah, Greg Sheeran. He doesn't have catcher. Mark says two games at catcher. 
So yeah, that was weird. Yeah, Greg said the colors are off on fan tracks. That would make sense. No, it's, oh yeah, it's, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mark says Kirk for MVP. Kirk is gone. That people took him for that. Yes, the caveman needs help with spelling, so I appreciate you all. Um, Greg Sheeran said if MJ Melendez gets picked, he'll also show up as a catcher in color. So that's good to know. There yeah. goes your boy. Yep. Ronis. A A D T B R E N D A N space capital P F A A D T. Brendan Fought. Best pitcher on the D backs. Outside of Zach Gallon. Maybe Merrill Kelly, but I don't think so. So what do you got? Bloom, 30 seconds. What are you thinking? I'm trying to kind of think of what my next pick's gonna be. Well, you're on the clock, so it's a good thing you're thinking about it. <laughs> no, like after this pick. <laughs> it's a good 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 thing to do. <laughs> good thing to think about. Yeah. When this is there it is. Christopher seconds. Sanchez. Reliever Christopher Sanchez. Dude, I've taken four pitchers in a row. It's probably not ideal. I don't have a uh, second baseman, which is semi-concerning. It's only concerning if you let it go again. Second base pool is it's okay, dead. but not ideal. No, it's dead. Yeah, not, um, not great, Bob. Not great. I'm going to take your boy. McMahon or no more morale? Uh, no, Chapman. I like Chapman and OBP. Oh, I thought you were still at second base. That's why I was like, <laughs> which one of them? No, I don't. I don't. I don't know. Do you have a second base? Yeah, you took Albies. Yeah, I'm good. No concerns in this hood. Now the fun could be. Yep. Uh, Ronis must have refreshed his draft Ooh. to take Bob. <laughs> you guys got all the jokes. All of them. All of these jokes. Um, do, 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 just kind of taking. Did, did away you like find some? You got you got excited there for a sec. Yeah, I put someone in my queue real quick. Okay. So I'll see if they're still there later. Names, it's a safe space. It's not because I don't plan on taking them for a few <laughs> rounds. <laughs> you can guess. I'm pretty sure Is you'll figure Imanaga's it out. brother or something? No, not quite. He's still on. The, I couldn't. I have to refresh the screen for that one. <laughs> <clears throat> um, we're gonna have some fun here. I might have to move the screen down a little bit. Where is the screen? Area. I know I'm on the clock. I know I'm on the clock. I'm just deciding between two players right now. You got time. You got time. Yeah, deciding between two players. Yep, we're doing it. Captain Jack, come on down. Ooh, okay. Okay. Captain Jack. Power, little speed, lots of OBP. Captain Jack. Uh, this is going to be annoying. What? I, for, I remember this happened last year. Every time someone got picked, the screen went to the, yep, the, the next draft level up. Went to the top. So when you try to read your team, it keeps moving on you. Yes. No, the for the for the chat. See what happened. Oh, gotcha. Can you take off the uh, the title? Yeah, do you I mind? Do yeah. So I think I what do, it does I, is I it do just mind, keeps that last yeah. one. I'm kidding. Yeah, it's cool. You got it. <laughs> look at my look at my name, basement. <laughs> yeah, I saw that <laughs> earlier. The title down? Yeah, I didn't do it. That's all you, homie. Hopefully, not foreshadowing of my place in this league. Oh, Yancey got me. When Bubba complains about the draft software, he's being a fantasy Karen. You see how he spelt it, by the way? He got it. He got it. Beautiful. Yancey from the top row. But I can't even be mad because that's well played. That is beautiful, <laughs> well played. Yancey. There goes Jung Hu Lee. That's a good OBP play. Of course, Tim McLeod takes him. No surprise there. Oh, Dr. Ah. Rowe took Mikel Garcia. That's who yeah. I was happy to put in my queue. That's who I put in my queue. All excited. Oh, thought he'd la last a while with an ODP of 332. And some bags, a, man. I thought I had a little window right there. Dang. Thanks a lot, Dr. Roto. Appreciate you. It's bad. I was just about to ask if Cedric Mullins has been taken. Uh, no, yeah, eight three. rounds ago. Hamstring issue, too, by the way, just so you remember. I'm going to throw that out there for you. What would you say? Mullins has a hamstring issue also. Yeah, I did. I did see that. You got that one. You're good there. 
hard to keep track of all this stuff. Man. There's a lot going on. I literally There's just kept There's a lot track. going on. I just put an outline together for a Bench with Bubba show that has the recent news. That's why I have it all dialed in. So, only reason I know. You got a, you got a guest lined up for that one? Yep. Wednesday night at 8.30 p.m. Pacific time, Jason Anthony of FTN will be joining Ah, oh, very cool. Very yes. cool. So, that'll be fun. We've been trying to link up. He's a NorCal guy. So, play some golf. We're going to have some fun on that one. So, I'm looking forward to it. Hell, yeah. First time on the show. So, be fun. Yep, have that. And then I have Nick Pollock on Thursday. So, if you have pitcher questions, bring in my direction. We're going to battle it out on his blasphemous comments about some of the pitchers I like. So, we'll have some fun there. Uh, yeah. Yes, this is what I'm. This is a great point by Yancey, and I'll, I was kind of hoping this wouldn't come up. But is Robert Suarez the closer for San Diego, or is everyone saying it's Matsui? I am drafting it as if Suarez is the closer, and he's going super late in almost all your drafts. He got taken here, though. That's a good pick. I, I'm going with Suarez. Matsui might get his, but I was already on Suarez's train. But I, today, I actually listened to the Rotowire show that Jute was on with Clay Link, and uh, Jute made a good point I didn't know about. Matsui is a small dude and already has kind of quasi back problems from time to time. So it could be interesting with the, the MLB workload to see how he handles that. that stuff like that's where reliever recon is clutch because I would never have even considered that. Was that episode last on week? This past Friday. Oh, damn it. Okay. I'll have to check that out. I just, I just listened to it this afternoon. So, yeah. Yep, yep, he's falling late in drafts, Yancey. I'm with you there. So he's he's a guy I've been taking as a third, like a spec third in deeper formats. I like that quite a bit. Dude, I don't have a first baseman either. Uh, there's a couple great guys out there. Reese's yeah, Pieces not... is out there, so you're good. No, he got taken. Hostin's oh. got taken. That's been when I was looking for Brendan Fought and Reloaded. It actually was probably around. Yeah, it was around <laughs> that time. <laughs> totally missed that one. Uh, CES is still out there, though, if you want to take that gamble. It goes Bucks, and I was wondering when he would go off the board. Uh, Morell, Tommy Edmond, Scott White. Okay, Tommy Edmond won't be ready for opening day. That's kind of the speculation now. Yeah, Still not Edmund, swinging the bat. Still Edmund not swinging the bat. Scares me. Ed, he has scared me for a while now. The fact he's still really not swinging a bat is is a massive, uh, massive concern. All right, here's here's a question: Will this be year two in a row of the famous Doctor Roto snipe of Aaron Savali? That was I here waiting for. Savali's in my queue. Okay. That's uh, good to know. I'm, I'm not going to take him. He wasn't in my... Uh-oh. There, here it is. It's coming up. We have you list. Know. We yeah, have list in the chat. Picture he list. wants to know why I didn't get Cole Reagans. He's already Reagans. clowning me for that. Because Nicky went in the fifth round. Yeah. A little Craziness. early for my, my taste. Craziness. Man, no, it's fine. Good. It's mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. Man, I am playing a game of chicken that I shouldn't be playing, but here we are. I like Tovar. He's going up in drafts. Good pick, McLeod. He's a guy that's been falling a lot. Good later oh. middle infield option if you play it properly. Um, Lucas Giolito's out there. If anybody, if they want to take a stash, just gonna throw that one out there. If anybody's listening, we'll Dude, Doctor Roto did take Savali the second year in a row. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> oh, some things are just. What is Fun. with this guy? He likes you. He really, really likes you. Erod, Monica, Bybee. Yeah, man. Decisions, decisions, Bloomfield. Decisions, decisions. See, I already got a util guy, so I might as well take him off my board. It doesn't work anymore. That's the thing with, with Shohei. He just Util's already locked up. Yep. Glad I remember that. Glad I remember that now before I almost made a pick. I know. I know. Uh, that would have been fun. Man, oh man. It's easy to forget that. I am yeah. really hurting at sec. There is nothing at second base. You man. you are hurting. And you made fun of my thyro pick at one time. Remember that? Actually, there's some there's some guys at second no, base. No, don't convince we, yourself now. Don't convince yourself. That were alluded yourself. to earlier in the chat. So, not worried yet. This one's for you, Bloomfield. You're up, man. What are you doing? This one's for you. I'm making you think about it. Savali? Starling Marte. Oh, beautiful. 
Need some speed still. OBPs. Hopefully, just stays healthy. Stay healthy, Starling, and we'll take our have some fun with that. Beautiful. Uh, I had I had a feeling. Uh, Alan Schwartz. There's a great chance that Giolito is going to have Tommy John surgery. So yes. Great chance that who Giolito? Oh, Giolito. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nick says Cutter Crawford. I love Crawford, so he's on, he's in the list. Don't you worry about that. Uh, this is a, this is something I'm already debating. Yancey says, how much is enough of a discount for uh, Braxton? I wish I knew a little bit more, but that shoulder thing worries me. Like some of these guys, like, you know, Gossman's already playing catch and whatnot. Braxton still has no real kind of timetable right now. Adam Ronis takes pitcher list advice. Cutter Crawford. Yeah, that's a good pick. I like Cutter quite a bit. And now you don't really have to worry about he's locked into that rotation now. So locked in well because of all the injuries like they just have to pitch them yeah there's really no no options there which sucks but that's the reality of the situation Uh, all right mount castle got taken that's not good uh, why are you looking for a first baseman yeah it's gonna take him (laughs) steer got taken where did where did all these dudes get taken in the first 14 rounds ahead of this pick I feel like Bubba here. I think I'm spelling their names right. Yeah, refresh your screen. You have seven seconds. Are we sure Mountcastle hasn't been taken? Yeah, he got taken. Son He's of gone. Him. You're about to. You just expired. Nah, I took Rizzo. Uh, yeah, that's a good pick. <laughs> you sound disappointed. No, I, I wasn't circled. I didn't have him circled, but yeah, I like Rizzo. Yeah, Rizzo's I just, strong. Uh, whatever. He's fine. Man, don't try to be like play it off. Whatever. It's fine. Like whatever. I'll take it. Oh, this is my dude coming up. Let's have some fun with this. He should have eligibility all over the diamond, too. Taj Bradley just went. Self Relic just went. Oh, man, that's garbage. Whoa, 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 Bubba. Comete, comete. Getting so where are you going here with this pick? Frelick just went in his potential multi position eligibility, so that's fun. What are you thinking? Luis Rangifo's out there if you need somebody. I know. Uh not yet. Okay. Um God. Ooh, I know a first baseman for you. I just took Rizzo. Yeah. Thinking either Kepler or Neto. Mm-hmm. And I need bags. Mm-hmm. Vaughn Grissom. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Tim Anderson. I'll go Neto. You used to come back months. You Sorry, took... it's not my turn. Wait a minute. What just Did happened? Did it expire on you? You took the Oakland A's Muncie? <laughs> no, I didn't mean to. Hold on. I just <laughs> they better freeze. Back. Yeah. Yeah, they got to freeze that bad boy. I was like, what are you doing? I don't know what happened. So you're going Neto? It looks like the draft paused. Yeah. You're going Neto? Uh, yeah, if, if they yeah. let me. That's who I was looking at. So I support that pick. As if you needed my support or anything, but I support that pick. I like that a lot. All right. Zola is going to back it out. Good man, go. Zola. Thank you, Lord. Lord Zola to the rescue. That was... Yeah, Yancey, Neto batting ninth is lame, but hopefully that changes. Um... <laughs> Yancey, now you're being a Karen by telling Nick what I said earlier in the show, so you can stop that immediately, please. All right. We back on? We need. To, I think you need to refresh. That's actually not a joke. I know. I know you were being serious there because I remember this happened. Like, yeah, you have net or, Thank you because there's been two picks now since that happened. Yeah. All right. So now where All right. Well, I messed that up. But You're good. You're good. You, you didn't good, mess uh, it up. It's the software, remember? So now you can join my Thunderdome party of uh, what the heck is going on here. Good Sergeant of Arms. There goes Luis Rangifo. Sergeant of Arms. <laughs> 
Uh, you're appreciating my jokes these days. That's good. Here goes Gavin Lux. There's a lot of optimism on Gavin Lux at one point. It's really quieted down. Now I'm about to take a pick because I don't know if I should keep playing chicken this long. But here we go. I'm going to get my third baseman. I'll go prospect hunting with Colt Keith. Let's have some fun with that. Country music star Colt Keith. Yep. I like it. Yep. You see how that one goes there in Detroit? The Trois, and uh, hopefully it's blank for me. You sure you took him? His picture is blank. He's a pink thing. Refresh your screen. You're good. That's weird. It is blank for you. And Ryan's gone. <laughs> and we lost. Uh, what are we looking at? Ryan blowing up the draft. Yes. Um, Bloomfield's basement's back. Um, least from Kifa projections have a much lower now. Do you mean to share my screen? Or are you good? You got it? Okay, there you go. You got, you got the country music star up there. Tristan Sticks McKenzie went to Shelly. That's a guy I have had a horrific time trying to evaluate. Is Tristan McKenzie? I don't know about you, Bloomfield, but I do not know what to do with Tristan McKenzie. Is Bloomfield even talking to us right now? Is he on mute? Can't even hear Bloomfield now. Bloomfield's blowing up the whole the whole thing. This is good. So yeah, Ryan's logging back out now. We're gonna see Ryan in a little bit, but um, yeah, this is uh, Tristan McKenzie's one I'm gonna ask him about. We have Kepler Griffin Canyon who I had queued up coming around. Doctor Roto got him, so Roto's having a great draft. Severino, Chucky Morton. So we're getting a run of starting pitchers here now which makes things quite, quite entertaining to say the least. Um, All right. Are we back? Yep. We can hear Bloomfield. We got the board back, so we're good. Um, I was asking you, what are your thoughts on Tristan McKenzie? Because I cannot get a read on him at all. No, I've been out on him just because of the health. I mean, it's basically it. Yeah, it's been tough. been tough for me to kind of narrow down my feels in that department. Narrow down your fields. Yeah, that's me trying to keep things clean. I have CIMI outfield and then three pitching spots left before the bench Bloomfield. What do you got left? Uh, dude, I'm trying to keep up with all this stuff. This this thing is fast. Um, I've got a second catcher, a second baseman, outfield utility, and a no pitcher. Well, you might as well just punt catcher at this point because that thing's off the yeah. rails. Oh, uh, yeah. I that, that thing's gone. So We'll see where that one goes. I'm kind of looking to get back into the starting pitching world. I can't even blame my kids for that one. Yeah. Child's Play 7, more revenge. That's good stuff. Bubba solo pod time. No, we do not need me to do a full solo pod. I'm the oh man, Garrett does scare me. I'm actually thinking of Nick Lodolo, maybe. Whoa. At this point. Whoa. Easy. Why is that? Is that encroaching on someone's category? No, you've category? just been you've been off on them. Yeah, but if time. I can put him on the IL here, yep, that's where I'm kind of debating it. He's I haven't got his report back on seeing the specialist though. That's the one thing he saw specials on Monday, but like there's no news on it. That's what's weird. No so reports. Did JD Martinez go? Uh, I can tell you. I gotta get out of the pictures. No, he's still on the board. You should take him. I already have a util, buddy. Thank you. That's why I, I said you should take him. I see what you're doing here. I see what you're doing here, but no. Nancy Eaton said no is a full fade. Get Tyon. Thank you, pitcher list. I'm actually Yeah, Tyon is a nice call at this point. Yeah. I have him. I'm sure if too. Sarah's still around that she would co-sign ah, there goes kyle harrison to thorn i was looking that's at him. your boy i was looking at him so right now it's like there goes just i was literally just about to say john gray so that was fun um my my starting pitching cue is disappearing again so yeah tie on might be the play actually you got you kikuchi down here you got the gardener gibson uh, loretta lens down here mckenzie gore is interesting too if you I believe. like John, John Gray just got taken. I really like John yeah. Gray. Yancey with the quota. <laughs> I prefer Tyon more in OBP leagues. That's a fair uh, 
fair Jesus. assessment. What do we do with this guy? Yancey's bringing the heat tonight. Watch out, boys and girls. What are we doing with this guy? Ooh, Kyle Finnegan's still down here if you're looking for a late stage candidate. I saw that. Like, might take a third. I was debating it now, seeing that. I won't. That. I won't. But MJ Rolandes almost took him about four rounds ago. So there you go, Dr. Roto. You're welcome. But yeah. I just hate taking these injured pitchers already. If it's a leg injury with Lodo. So, yeah, Tyon might be the dude just to rack up some. I love the way he finished the second half. We talked about that on one of our pitching shows. So, that might be team tie on time. This one's for you, Nick. Unless Ray Murphy screws it up. Last me. last couple of months were strong in Tyon. I forget exactly what the yeah. mix change was, but he did switch things up a little bit down the stretch. It was nice. It was very, very nice. Ray Murphy loves taking that clock down just to listen. I think our last comments before he takes a pick. Hey, that's fine. This damn draft is moving so fast. Yep. That's what happens when you try to like keep track of all the picks in the software. You worry about it. I'm just chilling over here. Yeah, <laughs> just having a great time. I I, didn't, I stopped even using my papers. I'm just. Dude, what's up? My man just going, going off I'm the got, top here. I'm just going commando over here. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What was that sound? Am I up? That's that you're up somewhere because did you just hear a sound? I came from <laughs> you. Yeah. <laughs> the draft is paused again. <laughs> what in the heck is going this? Thing's on? freaking me out, man. I'm to refresh uh, my screen. Ray got auto picked. Kenta, Kenta Maeda. Maeda better than Max Muncie. Yeah, I'll say that's not a bad auto pick. So that's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, Sarah says I have three drafts going on while I watch this. I love March. Yep, it's a great time of the March year. March is March is beautiful. Great time of the year. Are we back going? Dude, I have no Why idea. Why does he still have Kim Maeda? I'm refreshing my screen. No, he got Edward Cabrera. Oh Jesus. So we got to refresh. That's yeah. what screw that's what kicked me out of the stream last time. Yeah, having to refresh is just oh, that's a whole nother. All right, Edward Cabrera, Shelly's up. Yeah, then I'm on deck. I'm going to take Jameson Ty on if Shelley does not. Okay. And I don't even know where I am right Shelley. now. See, she Shelley needs to refresh. Yeah, that's the... Yeah, that's what <sighs> you just told her. Or Zola just told her. Why is Zola t logged into your account? He has to log in as one of the... <laughs> so No, but the real... Like, why did he pick your account? Oh, I, yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> Is that because the way you greeted him in Arizona? You were the first there to welcome him to first pitch Arizona? I rolled out the red carpet for him. Yep. And he, he, uh, now I have commish powers. Yep. Uh, nice comment. Keep 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 the lower camera off, Bubba, please. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Like I, a Ben, ben Ted's comment. <laughs> Bubba's drafted raw. Geez. And we've lost this. Oh, you're refreshing. No, I'm refreshing, good. I think. I don't know what's going on, man. It's still paused in my world, so this is about to get real fun. Yeah, so we're this is crazy because we're it's a twenty nine round draft. We're in round eighteen already, less than two hours. I think yeah, be like, yeah. That's what I was gonna wonder. Like, is it just me thinking this is super no, fast, it's, or it's like flying. this is flying? Which is, uh, it's, I wish all drafts were like this. Let's be honest. Should I read? There goes Seth okay, Lugo. Seth Lugo just went. Okay, so you're you're up. So, you're up. You're up. Damn. But but no, it's not letting me be up because it's paused again. It's all right. We need to slow down. I think I think well, Shelly wanted to take Maeda. So am I allowed to pick? I have no idea. Like yeah. I think I think that's what's going on. Well, then why is the clock ticking? Dude, just put someone in your queue real quick. I drafted Jamison Tyon. Let's just see what happens. Put Tyon in your queue. No, I just drafted him. If they oh, want to yeah. back it off, I don't care, but We'll see where this goes. So watch you get paused again. You what? have taken time. I'm just going to refresh it one yeah, more time. Yeah, I just took time. I was just hope that's okay. what's still going on. And I can see that we're at 38. All right, we're good. We're good. And Shelly has Noel is in the chat making jokes on my behalf, besmirching my name. I can't uh, help it. You made a mistake, Gianella. Yeah. God. And then Gamble, what better pick did Bubba mean than than tie on? <laughs> <laughs> Rudy. Rudy. That is the top hilarious. rope, Rudy. That's pretty good. 
Don't fall asleep at the end of the draft, Rudy. So where are we looking, Bloomfield? You're coming up here. Uh, I um, know. You, you need a few things. So what are we, <laughs> what are we, what are we focusing on here? Look Thanks. at all these pitchers. Shane Boz, he might not pitch a lot this year, Gino. That's a bold strategy. Finnegan, there goes Finnegan to Ronis. Solid. I'm thinking Drury, but like. Bad OBP, boy. Bad. I know. He is awful at OBP. Mm -hmm. But again, I don't need OBP. So I'm just going to take Down with OBP. Yeah. And he's first, second base, and I'm weak at first with Rizzo. Yeah, that's the that's the play. All right, you do you. Uh, so let's just see. This is something I do a lot in drafts. My OBP right now as a team is 349. If I take Drury, it falls to dun, dun, dun. 343, and my no, target okay. is 334. So, so I'm, you, you can I'm survive. Okay. You can survive okay. is what you're trying to say. You're living the dream. I like first, second too. That's just that's nice. I like all the right. AJ AJ Puck. Yeah, Fitch, Nick's just ne naming off all these guys I have in my queue as the draft goes on. And I know I'm not alone. I'm not clueless in that regard. But yeah, there's a there's a ton of these dudes I like late taking chances on, which is uh, definitely fun. Definitely fun, Nick Pollock. So did Seth Lugo actually go? Uh, yeah, I have sh him on Shelley's team. No, Shelley took Maeda. So I need to refresh. Dude, you needed to refresh like a while ago. Oh, I have all the other pick <laughs> all the other picks are right, but okay. She now she has my eight and now that I refresh. That's just insane if that's how this system's working. Uh one of these years will never mind. I'm so stop. Um well who are you coming back with here? Because Seth just took Paddock. Right, you got you gotta be thinking pitcher, right? You're getting depleted in the pitching department. Appreciate that. Um, <laughs> there goes Brandon Donovan. That's a nice little uh, late uh, multi-position dude. Appreciate the compliment there. You're welcome. I got you. That's what I'm here for. Picking you up uh, after I knock you down. Good hell. All right. Go Kikuchi. You say, I say, we all say Kikuchi. <laughs> I'll be here all night. Now the fun begins. Um, corner, middle, outfield, pitchers. There's still a lot of pitchers here. I don't think I need to force the issue just yet. Let's see what we got in the outfield department. There's not a – oh, Chris Bryant's still out there. That's awesome. Man, but there's some rough ones as well. Let's see. Where do I go here? Pete Crow, I don't like you. Matt Walner's got a heck of an OEP. Kikuchi is a great pick. Uh, thank you, Mark. Appreciate that. I, I do like Kikuchi quite a bit, actually. Checks um, in the mail. Checks in the mail. Be right back. All righty, all righty. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with... Let's see what my middle infield options are here. That's not great either, Bob. Not great at all. So this is getting bleak. There goes Walner. That's who I was looking at. Gianella just took Walner. So that's a good pick, Gianella. Thanks for coming. Um, that That's fun. Man, middle infield. I had a lot of guys queued up earlier, and they're all gone. So that doesn't leave me all warm and fuzzy. Corner infield, on the other hand, there's a lot to like here. And I'm going to take a chance with uh, Jose Abreu mainly in that Houston lineup. So I'll put a Brayu at corner infield here. That feels okay. See what Ray Murphy comes up with. Uh, I was looking at – I already got Colt Keith, Uncle Ted. Thanks for joining us. Um, Nelson Velasquez, maybe. I do like him. His OBP is just horrible, Sarah. It's really, really like sub-300 bad. That'll crush you. Um, Thomas Travato, I think Brian's going to have a big year. It's been said every year, so possibly. But um, you good, Ryan? Ryan, you good? You're muted. Turn your mute off. That'd be a good start. No, we've lost Ryan yet again, so that's good. Um, I do like the 40 home run ups. There's Ryan. I think I heard you there. You think I've done? You think I would have live streamed a draft before or yeah. something? Yeah. So now there we got. I like the 40 home run ups. I, I with you. I'm with you on that, uh, Sarah. I just can't risk my entire OBP for that just yet at least 
So I took a Bray Ryan for my quarter infield, Jose Abreu. Okay. I like it. Yeah, I think there's something there. The way he finished, good offense. I'll take my chances on that one. I mean, we're kind of in the same boat. Like, I took Rizzo. Granted, Rizzo was my first baseman, but yeah, I don't know. There's just first base but... options later. Yeah, there's still another guy. Um, there's there's a few of them I'm still looking at later on. What do you need? What do you need? Well, I need middle infield. I was saying when you were gone, like, all my guys I had queued up are gone. So that just destroyed me in a big way that hurt like i might move actually that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna move colt keith to middle infield i believe i can do that right yes because there's at least a third baseman i like have to refresh no i got it i'm good i'm just joking no i know you're joking i know you're joking you're gonna beat it into the grounds what you're gonna do um but yeah this is this is where the 15s can get a little bit on the oopsie side. McLeod with Cam Monero. McLeod loves his prospects and foreign players. That's uh, uh, I heard another sound. The hell just happened. Uh, there's no sound on my end. We're drafting. Chris Bryant just went to Nino. <laughs> Presley. I'm just things at this point. Yeah. You got PTSD from earlier. Yeah, no, we're, we're on the turn here. So now I got to figure out if I want to finish off my – Third base position, or go back to the mound. That's I'm genuinely, I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Did SiriusXM actually switch their feed no, to this podcast, not, not or is a chat like Moose was messing, messing with this? this. Moose was there's like I'd be shocked if he did. Yeah, Mark Justin Turner is gone. I had him circled a while back as well. He would have been a fun one for this format. So, yeah, he would have been good too. But uh, yeah, we're getting towards the nitty gritty here. Our main rosters are filling up. Reserve rounds are upon us. This is going to um, almost. Sarah said, "I wish I would love Sirius to switch for this pod. We would too. That would be pretty fun, but uh, that'll never happen." So, not with uh, Bubba was, dropping f bombs because he can't see his screen. Uh, I would have controlled it. I've been on radio before. It's okay. Uh, Jock jams. There's Fede. There goes AJ Puck to Scott White. That's a good pick. Very good pick, Scott White, as he continues to dominate the back end of the draft. That's good. I can't even find Puck on my sheet. Oh, there he's, he is. Yeah, he's got to search for P-U-K. <laughs> <laughs> Not like hockey puck? <laughs> Not like hockey puck? Not like, you know, the other word that I said earlier with minus the F, put the P? Yeah, yeah not, not that one. <laughs> oh, P-D-U-C-K? Good. Yes, that or one. P-F-U-C-K? Yeah, it's P-F, capital P. Uh, that's good stuff. There goes Andrew Rabbit, another pitcher that I, I love the upside, but yeah. a lot of questions there. Honestly, this questions. this is where we're starting to see the bottom of the 15-team yes. pitcher pool. Like Eric Fetty, Andrew Abbott. Again, I'm not, not bagging the picks. It's a 20th round in a 15-teamer, but this is this is why I try and get starters early. But this, this, I, I agree with the starters early thing, but this is also where it's like I'm looking at them going, I like a whole different group of pitchers late, so – who's right and wrong. This is where like, I think you kind of win or lose potentially. Maybe I'm overthinking things, but definitely some separation points given. We'll probably drop most of these guys anyways. So pick your poisons. But uh, yeah, this is going to get fun. There goes Conforto playing time concerns in San Francisco, but I get it. If you want to take those chances, Uh, you got that guy, you got that guy. Yeah, you guys start taking some more uh, IL guys here pretty soon, or what are you going to do? Yeah, I mean, actually, I mean, I am looking at, like, Vaughn Grissom. Yeah, so was I for my middle infield conundrum I have. Yeah, I mean, someone like that where, like, if opening day is in question, like, you just, if it doesn't work out, IL for a week or two, and he's back. I had Vaughn at the top of my queue. That was, that was funny that that was the name right, you go, threw out I there. mean, go for him. Go for him. Well, I'm debating between him and Jordan Lawler, but at least Vaughn Griffin I can throw on the IL. Jordan Lawler is Lawler, you up. can't, right? Yeah, that's the problem. But there's a couple that I'm kind of peeking around at to try to narrow it all down. Go there. Yeah, I'll leave it there for now. I'm on the cloud. It goes awesome, Hayes. Yeah, I'll go with Vaughn Grissom just in case. That'll get me something to just hide me over there. There just goes got... my cue. Thanks a lot, Bubba. Hey, it's great uh, minds. Great minds think alike. I think is what the words are. I'm not... 
a good pick. He'll be second base, shortstop eligible too. Yep, that'll help in 15. I guess is where I know people can overestimate multi position, but like in 15, it's just like in 12s, it is what it is. It's helpful. At 15s goes even crazier to me. <laughs> Aaron Cummings, I love this guy. Hey, sorry I'm late. Can you recap every pick so far? <laughs> <laughs> Sure, I love it. I met Aaron. We've met Aaron at uh, FPAS a couple times now. He's a funny yeah. dude. Funny well, dude. Aaron, Ma- Max Muncy's been taken twice. Both yes. of them. So both both artists is known as Max Muncy. So where are you looking here? You're two picks away. There goes David Robertson. Good spec by Gino. I don't know, man. I don't know where I'm looking. I need pitching. Well, hopefully at your computer screen. That'd be a start. That's step one. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to go Mackenzie Gore. I like Mackenzie Gore. Yeah, Mackenzie Gore is a very good one. Nick was talking with Eno Saris on the craft about that last week. So that was one of the pitchers they discussed, a fun podcast that sometimes goes way over my head, but that's not shocking to many and um, makes it interesting. So I do like the Mackenzie Gore thought. Yeah, I mean, there's there's pitchers, man. That's what I'm saying. There are like it's there's pitchers, but I'm still gonna go Gore. You can't have enough of these freaking guys. And there goes Braxton Garrett. So Ronis took the Garrett chance. That's now, the do I want to go catch second? Like, when do I take my second catcher plunge? You almost just don't till the end. Treat it like a kicker or defense right now. And what you're hearing is you have your your sound on. That's what you hear. I just turned it off. Yeah. There goes Rooker, Will Smith. So we got spec closers coming off the board now. Got it. I go back, back to Barnfield. Jesus. Uh man, this is tough. Tough room. Rooker is a, a solid, solid pick. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. I'll take another pitcher. Yeah, 30 seconds. Do whatever you got to do. This is part of my, like, I mean, I say this all the time on the pod is, so Varlin's my 10th pitcher and I still have three hitter slots open, but that is, that is by design. I want to stream pitchers from my bench, not from the wire. So that would be the way to do it. If you can, the, uh, the legend has arrived and already named one player twice in the chat. Uncle Ted. Ryan Jeffers. Never change, homie. And Ryan Jeffers is a stud back to back. Uh Chad Green. Mark says Chad Green might snag a few saves this year. I saw Chad Green pitch today. Yeah, how'd that go? On TV. Uh I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a whole lot of help. Thank you. Appreciate you. <laughs> but I do remember looking up and seeing Chad Green. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ryan oh, just, dude, I'm like working. I'm not watching it. Keep pounding the Red Bull. Ho. Keep pounding the Red Bulls. Um, yeah, we moved to LaCroix. Yeah, let's have some fun here. Right, switch to IPAs. Yeah, it's about that time for you. I don't know, man. <laughs> trying to trying to do this draft after a few brews. Oh, that's not that hard. I, I got faith in you. Not that hard. You can't pick Brandon Fott sober. Yeah, you don't have to spell anymore. Who'd you take? Jordan Hicks. Yeah. <laughs> That's the answer. Okay. So you like, I mean, do you think he uh, throws enough innings? Throws enough for now. All right. Um, He's starting right now with like 70 degrees on the IL. So let's put it that way. This can't be right. Our stream yet stream yard says we have 887 live no. viewers. There, there's there's a new there's a new glitch in the system there and i noticed okay. that today as well i i, I i'd know. like to think we're semi-popular but not uh yeah. not that it keeps track and accumulates through the entire thing okay it's a new feature but i don't like we are 83 on youtube i don't know if that's right in the that's chat right or not, but yeah. if so uh thank you. thank you guys this is the 21st round of a obp tout wars draft and we've got 80 of you all here which is and awesome. we have uncle ted mentioning people that have all been taken so it's good yeah yeah uncle ted's a little little behind on um on where we're at but that's that's fine he'll catch up yeah he'll catch up yeah so now austin wells just went that was one of your last catchers worth talking about yeah um i mean honestly i'm looking at like connor wong yeah that's fair 
I mean, Let me pull up the I'm a little light in steals, which I'm not too worried about, but like Wong could at least get me something there. Patrick Bailey Unless... won't crush you in OBPs. Jan Gomes isn't bad either. Miguel Amaya, if you ever played, would be amazing. Same with Herrera. Yeah, same with Herrera, but they're they're not. You do need to get someone who like plays. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 rough over there. Some of the monitor people in the catcher's world in 15s don't go sleeping. Not saying that Ryan was, I'm just saying in general. I got to. It drops yeah, Gary off. San- Eric says. Uh, Eric says Gary Sanchez late catcher. I like that. But yeah, wait when William plays DH. Yeah, that's the thing is I don't know how often he plays. Paul Skeens so, just went twenty first round. I was gonna say Paul Skeens just went, and they announced on Tuesday that he's gonna start the season in the minors. Yeah. Now for how long? Who knows? That's all speculation potentially but that's an interesting one as well so now we're here around 21 22 turn for scott white i'm really curious who he's taking here because there's a couple young bucks i've been looking at and i'm curious what he's going to do it's funny I've, I've had such a hard time keeping track of my own team and draft i have no idea what like so white's team is the only team i've even like and and ray a little bit has made a bunch of picks that i've liked I have no idea what these other teams look like at the moment. Man, frazzled. Like I'm, Scherzer. I'm so frazzled. The Scherzer time. Scherzer. So that's an IL stash. Worth, yeah, it's an IL stash. Worth going for. But we'll uh, see. That's the like, Verlander while you're at it. I know he's been taken. He's being gone, sarcastic. Right? He's yeah. being sarcastic, yes. Nah, I mean, I Take DeGrom know. then. Go for it. He's thinking about it. He's taking a while. I'm at the point in the draft two where I fell too far behind tracking which hitters got there taken. Boyle, just... There's the one of the young guys I was looking at. Yep. Who? Yeah. Oh, Joe Boyle. Joe Boyle, Joe Boyle rules. Like yeah, yeah, I was looking at. I was looking at him. I mean, the, the win potential sucks, but uh, yeah, yeah, he's he's got some talent. Very, very much so. Uh, your boy Flaherty's still out there. You got that going for you. <sighs> Come oh, on, sorry, man. sorry, my bad. I know no one in this room wants Jack Flaherty except for me. Yep, just you. I literally just queued him up when I saw his name and said that out loud. So you're welcome. Oh, you queued him up? Let's not go. at the top. Not at the top of my queue. I, just, I have a long queue of names, just to keep things in mind, so I don't forget everything going on. Even though I will, because I'm old and I can't see. So we got that going for me. Dude, I'm having trouble like seeing yeah. things. Yeah, you're welcome. It's catch it catches up with you. There goes Josiah Gray of the Washington Nationals. That's always a fun pick right there. Trying to debate if that was worth a darn or not, because the skills Ooh. are the oh, skills. Josiah Gray. Josiah, but the overall production gets wonky at times. Um Jeff McNeil, he's banged up as well. And I just never been a McNeil guy, but I get it. Casey Mize to McLeod. McLeod's taking some chances out there, folks. That's interesting. Ryan Noda for Dr. Roto. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, I'm going to take a bench bat here if he comes around to me. So we'll see if this shows up. Got a couple picks. Got Ray Murphy and Shelly V coming my direction. But I am going to take a chance on a bench bat. Bench bat, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know if he'll be here when he gets back, but maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, I should probably actually focus on something more important instead of being silly. So let's go with... Man, outfield's gone now, man. I know. I'm looking for my fifth outfielder, and it's Ooh. it's not great. Bob. It has disappeared. Wow, we'll put him Hannah Gra- I like. I don't know what you feel about Hannah Gra- That's uh, one awesome guy I was. I was times, looking at. But... I was looking at him because I actually I... wrote about him the other day. Yeah, he just yeah. went. That's a good. That's a good pick at this point in the draft. I think. Um. Wow, it is bad down here. What is Kerwin? I've F? got a guy. I don't know if he's a good guy, but I've got a guy. Well, I got a guy too. I'm gonna he's look. Probably right been here. taken, but. No, he hasn't been taken. I got a guy. You got a guy? Well, I'm going to take this guy if I can find him again. 
So I'm going to take this. Well, my dog loves this pick, as you can tell. Uh, Brian De La Cruz. OBP can looking, be suspect. But no, I was we'll looking see. at him. Yeah, I've I've had him queued up for a while. So it's like the other guys I thought about taking chances on, but at least De La Cruz, he's going to start pretty much every day. So yeah. we'll go that direction and see where it goes from now. So now you're you're going to be coming up here. What are you looking at? Um, I'm hoping, Martinez. hoping Will your Abreu stays on. He's he's the outfielder I'm looking at in Boston. <laughs> Uncle Ted. Uncle Ted tells me to draft starters, not bench bats, and then recommends James Wood, the prospect out of the Washington Nationals. He's taking he's taking over the chat. Yeah, he is. He literally is taking it over with names that are all gone. That's there goes there Nelson. goes Nelson. Yep, Sarah should be happy. Nelson Velasquez. Yeah, I like Willier. I think I think he's gonna yep. start at least against righties. I don't hate it. Don't hate it at all. And get some steals. So we'll go with that. I can see it. I think you're on to something there. I don't, I don't know if I am, but hey, I, see, I even try to give you compliments and you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna take it. Why take Dude. those compliments? What? Dude, Connor Wong. <laughs> Dude. Oh, you're I I warned you like 12 rounds ago that the, the cliff was coming. Dude, and... his projected OVP is 285. Yes, it's bad. There goes oh Connor my Wong. There, God. I think he's got and he just got team. taken. What the hell? Yeah. Yes, Seth just took him. So What's now up, you're sitting. Seth? Now who you pick. looking at? Now who you thinking about? Yon Gomes? That's where I'd be somewhere around that direction. There goes the Dolo. Probably Gomes. I mean, is yeah, he? That's... He at least won't destroy you. Let's put it that way. I'm being very you can't kind. like totally, totally punt. No. You pretty much are already, get though. a guy who plays. You're pretty much already totally, totally punting, though. Yeah, oh, Jan Gomes has been... Oh, no, he hasn't been taken. No, he's not. Refresh your screen. No, I was looking at outfielders. All right, Jan Gomes, I guess. That's that's bad. But we'll stream it. That's fine. That's fine to stream it. Play it live. Play it live. It's fine to stream it. And, yeah, Gomes... Yeah, Gomes is going to play. I'm cool with it. Yeah, um, I like Jan Gomes. Been a fan of Gomes for quite some time, so not going to hate on that one. Not going to hate at all. Let's see. Do, 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 do. <sighs> so I am like, Man. well, you're on deck, so what do we? Yeah, I was debating. What do you need? I'm going to take my bench bat I've been talking about just because I want to see where how he produces. And I'm going to take the chance now because if he keeps doing well, I'm going to take Nolan Chanel of the Angels. Uh, Shanwell, I believe. Shanwell, there you go. I'm just uh, I'm going to take a chance on him right now. Yeah, he's an OBP guy. He was one of the guys who popped on that bloom board of highest mm -hmm. risers, even though it was from like negative $3 to like but five like, bucks. But well, still. no, like on. Um, if you use ATC projections here um, in an OBP format, where hey, was he? Him. He was look way up, him. yeah. In his binder here, off screen. Yeah. We're just going to put my chisel down. Don't worry about it. <laughs> did, um, did you not find it and he just gave up? I, I couldn't carry that many stones to my table, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, Ben Ted gets it. Nolan is made for this league. That's right. Bench bat, Nolan Chanel. Trevor Rogers, your Gun boy. Gomes isn't awful. That's what I wanted up early. There were a couple good from the chat, just late, like Renee yeah. Pinto. I know we're both just clicking yeah. stuff. Uh, I'll stop. Go do your do your catchers. Jake Rogers. I like Rogers late. Pop. OBP's dreadful though there too. Whatever. They're all dreadful. Yep. They're all dreadful. So what happens when you wait? There goes Trevor Rogers as we speak to Ray Murphy. He's taking all of Ryan's boys. Yeah, I don't. I mean. Rogers, he's fine. He's a fine shot. Max Meyer is an interesting shot, too. Yeah. The problem with Meyer, he might not start on the IL. It might be a triple A thing. And so you don't get that free stash. Yeah. And then you're but... in that, that whole conundrum. All right. So what the hell? We're in the 23rd round. I need utility, and that's it. I need third base, pitcher, and bench. Third base. You need third base? 
Well, I put could put Colt Keith there, and I have Colt at middle infield right now. Ideally, when when um, Vaughn Grissom comes back, I can put Vaughn at middle infield, put Colt at third. That's the plan. But um, oh, there goes Juan Moncada. That's what I've been waiting for. So there goes that idea. Um, I got a few other third basements just to like fill it for now if I need to. So. Juan Moncada, I believe he just went, but I believe is hitting second. Yeah, I, I saw. I've, I've almost drafted him like in the last four rounds. I keep having him on my list, so that's what I get for that one. That's what's your what? What do you think for your bench? Should we get? We only get so compared to NFBC seven, we only get six. Um, thinking like an even three three hitter pitcher four two. I'm thinking probably four two pitcher right now, but we'll see kind of where it lands because I do have a lot of pitchers I still kind of like, so I'm I'm interested in seeing how that kind of pans out here. There goes Jake Cronworth. There's another late one. Man, so all these third basements just keep disappearing on me. Not good, Bob. Cronenworth, I don't know. Like, he could be fine. He's like hitting I third tweet, or fourth. I tweeted about that the other day because Did they you? said they want to hit him third. Yeah. And I, just like sarcastically, I said, like, how's everybody feeling about Jake? Because he's going so late. But, you know, if he's going to hit them third in that lineup, it got to be some appeal at that point. Yep. Okay. Oh, I, did, uh... I think I got my guy. Oh, wow. I, think Kyle, I looked up Kyle Bradish. He went in the 16th. Oof. I think I'm going to take Jordan Westberg if he falls to me just to get me a third baseman for now. I could dig that. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm that little, this little. I don't know if he's quite a post-hype sleeper at this point, but yeah, um, that's a fine pick. I'd like that to follow me at this point for waiting this long on the position or kind of waiting this long. I'll take that gamble. All right, I got a plan. It's not a you good do. plan. What is it? This is my super secret stash. So, oh, you got IPAs down there? You're, you're cracking in? <laughs> no, my player, my pick. Super secret oh. stash. Well, then who is it? I'll let oh, you pick we... first. Oh my god! No, it's uh, it's the Martian. Uh, who the hell is the Martian? Jason Dominguez. Uh, I, I've had him queued up for like four uh, rounds. No, I'm sure, not, I'm, sure. No, I'm taking Westbrook. No, I'm not even kidding. I almost took him to like before I, when I did De La Cruz. I had Dominguez queued up. L- listen to this guy, people. I'm listening to this guy. You can go. No, I was looking at Dominguez for a while. Yeah, he's. I got him in labor in like the 28th round. Like literally, if I you don't care about my screen, but the screen on my Twitter right now is me searching news on Jason Dominguez, who took 20 swings off a of tee two days ago. That's only yeah, from that's the right latest. side. Yeah, yeah. So li- I, that's how much I was looking into. I'm like, hey, how far out is he really? I'm guessing half the season still. That's what I'm thinking too. But if I can do that in the 24th at no cost, heck yeah, with the IO, heck yeah. No, that's why I'm going to do it. I was with you. I was kind of thinking that as well. So. Um, yeah, Ben did. Bob and the Bloom was officially the anti third base pod. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you did it at labor. I'm doing that's it. true. I didn't, yeah, I did not realize you didn't have a third baseman till now. I mean, like, but like you said, you could have moved guys around. I kind of had a third baseman. I don't really have a third baseman still if we really want to get technical. Um, but yeah, that's Greg, I uh, appreciate it. Greg Jason Dominguez has two S's if you're searching. Yes, um, I, I, uh, that's how I found him too. Yes. Uh, on Twitter, you have to spell it correctly. June, July, per the knob. Um, I had a Roldis Chapman in my queue as well, and he just went to That's a good Ronis, one. which I think Bednar's is a good issues. pick. It's yeah. just like if uh, the Bednar thing is bad, you, mm-hmm. you've got to find. If not, you just drop him, which is what you want. You want that type of player in the 24th round. So, yes, sir. I'm going to take Patrick Dominguez. Bailey out of my queue. I like that Dominguez pick. It's really good. I'm not even kidding. I've had him up there for a few rounds. That's annoying. There's got to be other IL guys. No, there are. I have other ones stashed, but he was towards the peak of my interest. Gilito's there. Ooh, this could be interesting. I don't know if you did. G- I mean, he. You might. No, be I'm not. I'm not. Touch- I'm not touching Gilito. I'm just saying he was still sitting there at the top of the queue. I gotcha. I think Flaherty makes it all the way back. He's in your queue, though. He's fair game. 
he is in my queue, but I'm not going to take him. I got someone else up my sleeve. Uh, never mind. Seth just took Emmett Sheehan. That's what I was looking up. Nice. That one, that one enticed me. Hey, man, go oh. for it. If you want... Uh, I want Flaherty. If you want Jack as the ace no, up your sleeve. I, no, that's not where I'm going with that one. Um, there goes Zach Lytle. That's a good one as well. Jeffrey Springs, a decent IL stash. Oh, you're just stashing. Oh, him. I'm up. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, we'll go Fraley. Jake. We'll go Fraley. If he if he gets regular playing time, that's a steal. But yep, I'm not confident. If, but if, someone's going to get hurt at some point. Yeah. That's yes. the analysis that you know. As the people tune in for the late round. <laughs> Someone is going to get hurt eventually. <laughs> that is a hundred percent correct. Oh Man. God! I can't even get information on some of these guys. I'm trying to look up now. Uh, Montgomery taken. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Rendon could be an IL stash. You see today is his groin. His yeah. Groin's hurting. <laughs> He's got pain in his groin. Oh, Colson Montgomery. Uh, yeah. Was that is that Uncle Ted? No, that's. Oh. Colson Montgomery Greg. is available. That's that's from Greg. Yeah. Okay, I'm on deck. Let's get a picture I can actually use. Debating between Chase Silseth and AJ Smith yep. Shaw. AJ Smith Shaver. I like the Harrison Bader pick by Gianella. That was a great pick. I'll go Silseth here. Yeah, what is Bader's OB? I probably should have taken him instead of Fraley. That is a good I've, pick. I've been taking Bader a ton late in drafts because I think he's still a 2020 guy if he could ever just stay on the field. Oh, dude, 288 what? OBP projection. That's rough. Goal. Okay, so but batting average leagues, really good late pick. <laughs> good hell. I didn't know it would be that bad, but. Bader will get bags while he's healthy. Like, yep, it's, it's fine. Plenty of bags. I like the Sil Seth. Yeah, the Smith Shaver hey. stuff's just interesting, but he's not yet in the rotation, so that's a tough stash. I like how Kenta Maeda is still in my little list here. <laughs> <laughs> no idea why. <laughs> that's funny. Like I have Brady Singer and Jack Flaherty. Those are the next two guys on my pitcher board. There, Ray took uh, Jeffrey Springs. It's the yep. stash. It's a good stash. Willie Castro is a good pick. Dr. Roto, of oh, course. I yeah, I almost took him instead of Westberg. But Westberg, I know, will start where Castro yeah. needs to start. That's yeah. the difference. Like, Dr. Roto has a third base one, I assume. No. He, well, unless he, he, maybe he can he's, move him around. He's got Michael Garcia. Oh, yeah, that's right. You took him from me, you dumb dumb. That was me calling myself a dumb dumb, by the way. In case anybody you, listening, you've matured curious. since the early F bomb in the second or third round. I told you, now that I can actually see players, I can at least, you know, blame myself for most things from here on out. I got my injured guy. I'll take Alex Cobb. I hope this, I hope people can see the screen okay. It's, it's a tough. Yeah, it's like I, I almost doable. wish they didn't have the player. Maybe that's a setting I can turn off. Like I almost wish they didn't have the headshot because it takes up the actual name of, of the dude. You mean you don't know all the players by just looking at their face? <laughs> no. Come Especially on, uh <laughs> Dr. Roto's twentieth and twenty first round picks. That's fair enough. <laughs> We're just fair enough. Mannequins. Raphael. Yeah, that's, that's that's tough. That's tough. You gonna take Drew Rasmussen? Nah, I, I like Springs is a better. I mean, I think he's back early. Rasmussen got Got hurt uh, somewhat Coming later. Uh, one of my cues. Ah, oh, Flaherty got taken. See, it wasn't even me. Can't even blame me for this one. Dude, you laugh so hard at me. when I'm already victory lapping Jack There's Flaherty, so many people bad. talking about it on Twitter. It makes me laugh now. About Flaherty? Yeah, because the velocity is up. Can it be sustainable? This, that, and the other. Like, people are buying into it now. It's really, really fun. Man. I, I knew Alec back Manoa. When. Alec Manoa. Oof. That's yeah. I I can't do Oof. that. I can't do that. Uh, I can't. It's more power to you, homeboy. Lando Garcia. At least he'll play. It's good for 15 depth, I guess. 
There goes Tim McLeod. What what off the wall pick do we have now? I love <laughs> yeah, it. I, I, I love his. I lo- they're all off. They're they're good picks. Just it's a weird. Oh no, yeah, like other. Gary Mitchell's a fine pick. He could start in Milwaukee's outfit. Casey Mize yeah. has looked really good. I love Andrew Nardi as a potential guy if Tanner Scott f- falls. Like I get it all. I, I understand everything he's doing. It's just I don't expect him. <laughs> Johan Rojas. I, yeah, love Rojas. If he plays, and with the Marsh hurt right now, he could play. That's, Should I take I Chad Green given my extensive scouting report that I yeah, since you helped me a whole lot. Out of, how was he? I don't know. I was working. You said you'll watch the game, Bloomfield. What are we doing here? Uh, Eric in the chat. Is Robbie Ray available? Yes. Uh, and, and would yep. be a, would be a be good, good stash. Well. It's hard to one. stash too many. Well, no, it's not. You can no, stash it's not. away. No, no, it's it. not. Go full YOLO at this point. I'm just so stubborn. I probably won't go full YOLO, but... We'll see. I need like infielders and shit. Like my whole queue, I think, is pretty much all pitching. There's a few position players, but it's almost all pitching now. Hitting depth is a going to be a concern. I have a feeling, but we what shall depth? hitting depth. Yeah, we're at, well, oh, I am on the clock, so I'm going to take Alex Cobb. It's tough out here. Love Alex Cobb should be back earlier than expected. So put him on the AL to start and roll from there. So Alex Cobb? Yep. I'm a fan of that. Big, big Alex Cobb fan. Am I up? No, you're up. No. I wish it was ever was left in your queue after the draft was over, went to your watch list. So I could literally go and put my guys on the IL and pick these guys up. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. And like so it'd already be there for you with having to scroll through everything. You know, you know kind of got screwed was um, um, Wilmer Flores with the Chapman signing. Yes, I, he's been in my like queue. So I love him, but yeah, yeah, I, I just don't know. Yeah, yeah, I was much more. Con- Everyone's talking about JD Davis. Like, oh, I never cared about JD Davis. There's Chris Martin, great pick, Winfield. That's a really oh, thank good you. Pick. That's a really good pick. You it's the suck. classic. If Jansen, if Jansen's healthy, uh-huh. I just cut Chris Martin. If not, uh, I was hoping to take him in like round twenty eight or twenty nine. So yeah, I, I took him in twenty nine in labor, but I'll do whatever. Yeah. Uh, it really does not matter at this point. Nope, nope, it does I, not. I do really want uh, Geraldo Perdomo though. At this pick, I really hope Seth does not take him. I will be up a creek without a paddle. Out of paddle. Perdomo second, third, and short, and will start the season with a job and has mm-hmm. some OVP skill. Like that's just useful on the bench. Yep. That is very All good. Right, Scores. Cool. Carlos Santana and Aaron Ashby. All right. Come I like on Perdomo. Now. So where do I want to go with this pick? That is the question. That is the question. You feel better now? No. Dude, this draft has been an absolute blur. We're going to be done in two and a half hours. Labor was three hours 40. Our yeah, that's why they call it labor. God, <laughs> <laughs> ah, man. <laughs> this one's been more like C-section. Yep, in and out. Uh, uh, looked at Mason Wynn. Actually, yep. as well, Duval, Duval is still available. Alan, he's also yep. still unemployed. Um, yeah, the Marsh thing with the Rojas comment was good. Joey Ortiz time was approaching. Yeah, he's he's in my queue. Um, I just don't know. Duval Duval is one I like. Um, yeah, very simple to cut decision on Fab Day if he does not sign. There goes Logan Allen. So for me, you got three picks left. You're up. I know. I'm trying to debate it right now. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Uh, Matt in the chat. Did Willie Castro Tanner. go yet? He did. Uh, I wanted Tanner Houck. That did not help. Willie went in the 25th round, which is, again, a, a really good buy. Let's go with... We got we got Tid in here, just Uncle Tedding prospect names as we go. That's for you, Bloomfield. So you can make fun of me. Oh my God, Rudy <laughs> Singer! I, hey, man of my word, stand by, stand by, my man. You laughed at the Alec Manoa pick. 
and YouTube. Yeah, there is a, a world of difference between the two. Don't even try to compare the two. That is not cool. I mean, Brady Singer, well, that's a bad pick, man. <laughs> that's the hard hit analysis I was looking for. <laughs> that's a bad pick. Man. Is he your ninth starter? He's on your bench, isn't he? Yeah, he's on my bench. Don't you worry. All right. Yeah, I'm still uh, looking, at, looking at your backup catcher, so don't tell me anything. We've got some prospects getting thrown out. Uh, Jackson Merrill, Ricky Tiedemann. I don't believe you. Yeah, I'm not going to do Tiedemann. No. I've been taken. I just don't. I With only six reserve spots, stashing a minor leaguer you can't do IL it's tough. is like very hard. You don't. Yeah. You have one less reserve spot than NFBC, and that it's very hard to stash minor yep. leaguers in tout, in my opinion. You, no, you're down to five reserves. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of it either. Just looking at what I'm looking at. It goes Patrick Bailey. That's not a bad if you're a punt team play, play. I'll say that much. I could live with that. <laughs> Back what? to our singer, Brady Singer, Manoa comp. Singer at least hasn't committed assault this spring. <sighs> Manoa's out there taking heads off. Jesus. <laughs> Truth. Truth hurts. All righty. Truth hurts. Gary Sanchez. All right, man. What are you looking at next? My screen. Oh, well, we're gonna play that game now. Now he's getting getting quiet. I got I got some, got a little Robbie Ray queued up. You probably do too. Yes, that's who I'm literally looking at on Twitter to try to find the latest news on it as we speak. I'm feeling, yeah, some injury stashes. Because getting Perdomo, second, third, short, like, I have that a backup a everywhere. That's um, pretty nice. I will also throw Duvall in the queue. Uh-oh, we've got a – or was this a while ago? What happened? I'm going to assume Gianella meant to take the other Logan Allen. Did we take the wrong Logan Allen? I have no idea. Yeah, Gianella took the reliever of Arizona named Logan Allen. But Logan Allen's headshot is Logan Allen. Yeah, so he wanted the pitcher out of Cleveland, probably. Yeah. Yeah, who knows? I don't know what to tell him. I'm just doing my thing one bad pick at a time. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep track of all this stuff. Brewster Gradwells, who I almost took instead of Brady Singer, and Matt Manning. Like the two picks that went right after were both the picks I was looking at. So that's freaking awesome. No, Duvall got taken. No, he's no, he's still hanging out. He's hanging out. He's still hanging out. Now the real question. Did he get no, he's still there too. Beautiful. Yeah, I think they're gonna pause it and give Gianella the, the right Logan Allen. But they can just change that without redoing everything, right? Dude, I have no idea. I'd hope so. Let's pray to God, because otherwise I'm going to take you know somebody else than Brady Singer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> kidding. If not, I would have taken him there. So other people wanted Logan Allen. Yeah, they swapped okay. it out. I think Perfect. we're going to have to. Refresh. Yep, refresh. Sweet. And actually, yeah, this is going to uh, – White wants to roll it back a little bit so he can take a catcher. How would, sure. affect, how would that have affected his <laughs> Not pick? sure how Logan Allen affected Yeah, pick. that doesn't affect your pick, man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> that's, that's a bit much, but okay. It's the well, then roll it back. I don't want Brady Singer. Well, I know. Yeah, you shouldn't want Brady Singer. <laughs> I tried to make a joke in there in the chat. So I think he wanted the Oakland Max Muncy. Yeah, I saw that too. Uh, Mark says Tiedemann will be in the Jays rotation very soon. Um, could well be. Could well be. I, I, I agree with Tiedemann, but I'm just worried about a lot. I have a lot of questions about Tiedemann. A lot of questions about Tiedemann. Which leaves me not taking Tiedemann. So he went and got... Uh, He's supposed to get Jake Rogers, right? 
Didn't Jake Rogers get picked? No, he didn't know. Uh, he was Re- mentioned in the chat. Maybe yes. Yeah. They just picked it, put him as an Achilles. I just refreshed or draft or more pause, but we should be getting right in the draft now. Yeah, I'm refreshing, obviously. All right. Fun times. We're almost there, folks. We're back. Two rounds to go. We're back. Oh, Patrick Sandoval goes. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Manoa and then Manoa. Uh, I thought, I thought, Manoa oh, I thought it was the, the same, same team. team. So did I. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> That's a murderer's row right there. <laughs> Even Aunt Karen would be concerned. <laughs> so that's that's a rough one. But I'm looking at Shelby Miller here if he falls to me. <laughs> I like I, that. I like that. There goes Tiedemann to yeah, McLeod. There goes Tiedemann. Of course to McLeod. There goes a Kirk Kirkling to DVR Toretto. and I took uh, Shelby Miller in XFL reserve draft this weekend. Yeah, I think means nothing, a, but um, it's a decent spec that uh, spec for sure i think there's something there with shelby so i'll take a chance here on that one uh, i like the brewster call because you can get he'll get at least one outing in that korea series before and then you can drop him and get somebody else what what did you the say brewster gratterall pick like, oh yeah, like yeah that. he'll get an outing at least one you'd imagine in korea then you can drop him before the rest of the season starts it's a 3 a.m game our time Yep, I won't be staying up for that. I'll probably be getting up for that. Yeah. Let me see. All right, man, you're up. Yep, Shelby Miller. There you are. Do, do, do. Shelby Miller, Detroit. Make sure I got the right Shelby Miller. Yep, we're good. All right, who are you looking at here with one, with your last two picks? Uh, I'm going to stash Robbie Ray. Yeah, that was what I was debating, but uh, I needed to get somebody else. So, yeah, good stash. Should be a good stash. We'll see. Never know if guys coming back from TJ, yeah, but you know. it's yeah. just—I mean, it just frees me. I'll, I'll just, I'll just replace him with a Fab guy. So, yep, kind of get a free Fab guy. Uh, and I mean, things will change between now yep. and Sunday before opening day, which is like three weeks. So a lot's going to yeah, change, yeah. especially what we saw today. Ooh, I'm at yep. Rosario. Your boy. Whoa! Just takes one home run off of, uh, off of um, what Skeens. Yeah, I think it was Skeens. That's a good pick. What the hell? Of course it is, because that's your guy. Apparently not. You love a Rosario. Yeah, you didn't give him the love he deserves. And OB, I was going to say not an OBP guy, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. At that point, why at this point? Whatever. Um, no, I'm going to go Robbie Ray, just stash. Yeah, and then probably come pick. back with Duvall. Okay, I'm looking at Joey Ortiz because he might gain third base as well. That would be one I could play with. Guy's got horrific OBP skills, though. Oof, maybe not. That's really small samples. In the minors, he had good OBP skills. Maybe I'll take a chance on Joey Ortiz. That's what I think I'm looking at. It was Doyle with Doyle rules. Got to think Adam Duvall signed somewhere. Yeah, I've been saying that all season, so I've been thinking about it. All hey, right. real talk, real talk. Since you're done, what's the outlook on Jacob Degrom? Uh, I mean, it sounds like it's August September. So I was thinking June, July. It's August September. I, I don't think so. Damn. So I was like, that and at that be... point, like, yeah, they're just yeah. warming him up for the playoffs. I, he's not going to come out throwing six, seven innings. I wouldn't think. What about what about Kershaw? I mean, that's your boy. That's my boy. Uh, I'm no, it does say uh, Rotowire. I'd go to Grom. Rangers are What's hoping to Grom and Scherzer make midsummer returns. That's what I thought. Like all star. I, I thought it was later, but whatever. I mean, whatever. Well, what's the Kershaw one? I'm looking at it now. I mean, I he might not even play. pitch. Yeah, I'd take to Grom. Yeah, I might take a chance on the Grom. Ground 29, Ooh. why the hell not? Uh, Aaron says Shelby Miller might be the closer by yep. mid-May, which makes sense, in Detroit. And he is a Tigers fan, so plug in there. Ben, solid job. I would say solid. I wouldn't say spectacular for sure. Uh, managing the chat while drafting. Jason Collette texted me. I just noticed it. He asked me what my last te- pick was going to be. So, of course, I told him after the fact, so I helped him out not at all. But I'm going to. I'm probably going to watch... Uh, the tout stream this evening, just kind of see what they were saying about it. 
yeah, see how no, that went there down. Joe, there goes Joey Ortiz to Dr. Roto. That's what I was looking at instead of the Grom. So we'll see how that backfires on me. All right, man. Great That's job. Fun. Thank you to everyone who can't imagine. It says 68 YouTube people are still here. That would be awesome. Yeah, you guys are um, awesome. That stuck around. Yeah, the chat brought it tonight. This was a uh, ton of fun, despite the early technical difficulties. Yeah, it happens. Do you want to recap? Difficulties and software difficulties. You guys want to do a, a recap of the team, or you want to do that at a later date and time? You want to go run? No, let's do it. Okay. Well, when this draft's officially over, we can just then the the board won't move around as much. Oh yeah, you're right. We, we yeah, can, there's well, two more picks, and then we can talk about it. Yep, let's do it. Because this thing's God, man, two and a half yep. hours. That's awesome. I'm pumped. Uh, thanks, Eric. Appreciate it. Um, yep. Ben thanks, likes guys. basements draft. Yep. That's that's, yep. that's probably where my team is headed. I was biting my tongue on that easy layup all night long. Should it should have known that when I oh it still says basement. Yeah, it has not changed because <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> you're yeah, I wouldn't change it if I were you. Yeah. <laughs> At least you're on point, Bloomfield. <laughs> I set myself up for that. Yep. Why why the hell would I? I mean, I am in my basement, but Scott White could use the whole clock on his last pick. That'd be awesome. Uh uh. Great job, guys. Killed a yeah, bottle of Tullamore. Man. Excellent. Good draft, people. Bloomfield, Raj, Raj. Thanks, guys. Thanks for listening. Let's recap things, Bloomfield. Let's see how how we how we feel about all this. Blow it up a little bit. Maybe we should have done this during the stream. No, blow up that would have been messed up. All right, yeah, let's start with your squad. My squad. There we are: Shohei, Varito, Albies, Peralta, Doval, Suzuki, Bybee. Wilson Contreras, Helsley, my second closer. So you got so you get before so yep. you you got your two closers in the first nine rounds. Yep. You started with like three bats. Place. Yep. And two bats. I started with Otani and Guerrero, the first two shares of either one. And you were concerned about Peralta being your SP one. But like I was saying earlier, I like what you did with backing him up with Bybee, Imananaga, and Erod. Erod. Even then though I you were going to take Monaga like four rounds earlier, but but then the rest of my starting pitching: Tyon, Silseth, Cobb, Singer, Degrom. You That's wait, a- so yeah, you have an interesting starting pitcher build in that you did your top four, five early, and then I you didn't waited. go back to it until uh, you you ended with five pitchers in a row. Yeah, two were ILs. Yep. Singer, you hope goes to the IL. <laughs> What is what's the term? Late round easy drop, Ryan. Is that what it is? Late round easy I mean, drop, right? He's a late round. Shouldn't have picked. Shouldn't have um, picked. No, you're in good shape. You and Jeffers good is your shape. second catcher. Yep. Is, it was dropping is, uh, quick after that. Is there? How are you in speed? Which I don't really care too much about. Not you get like twenty from Otani, ten fifteen from Albies, maybe uh, eight to ten from Saya, fifteen from McCormick. You're fine, Estrada. Yeah. Marte, you're good. Yep, it it works out in the end. It was a a, a rough go getting there. Third base is going to be interesting. Juggling that all year could be a trade in the works at some point in there. I mean, I got to I got to fine tune the pitching throughout the season. That's where a lot of my time will be spent. I have a feeling. Fifteen teamers, yeah, gonna have holes. Gonna have holes for sure. sure. Uh, Speaking of having holes, my squad, um, Juan Soto, not a hole. Castillo. Randy Orozarena, Manny Machado, Josh Hader, Swanson, Yuri Perez. Real quick, real quick, you kept saying earlier before you took Hader you didn't want to take Hader. Then you took Hader. Thoughts? When did I say I didn't want to take Hader? You were, nervous about, you were nervous about no. taking Hader. Earlier in tonight's show, you said you were nervous about taking Hader. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should have gone to Vol. He made it on a better team. Haters, I mean, Hader, Houston will win a ton of games. Yep. I'm fine with it. I'm fine okay. with it. Okay. Um, I was kind of thinking between because then there's class A after that too. Like, and that's what I've been saying too. Like, I don't I like to be at the end of a closer run. Mm-hmm. Just take whoever's left, but you can't really do that at the wheel. I took Hater at, at five. And in hindsight, yes, I could have waited waited and Rossell Iglesias would have made it all the way back to the sixth round, but you don't know that in the middle of a draft. Yeah, Iglesias, Andres Munoz, Fairbanks. 
depending like, on what you want to see there. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have gone hater. Maybe I go six, seven again in hindsight could have taken Munoz or Iglesias. And then in the fifth taken like Eflin or something. I don't yeah, know. Possibly. I also don't, I I'm a little worried about my pitching. I didn't take a third starter until Ryan Pepio in the 12th round. Yeah. And my second pit starter is Yuri Perez, who you reminded me has finger problems, but I did. So I kind of, I, so I went starter in the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th. Oh no, yeah. I took Alzale in the 11th. I'm going to start her 12, 13, 14. So like, and then I like Kikuchi nine, and then 19, 20, 21. So I, I don't know. I volumed my way back into starting pitcher, yeah. which I, I kind of like that. This your year. starting, your starting pitcher is a lot better than mine. I, I took like, you took your last few starters at the end. I took my last few starters in like the 21st round. Yeah. I like your last few starters better. So, um, yeah. Ray, we're still going. He jump in the chat. If you want to, if you want to self critique your squad, Ray, uh, I can send you the link. Yeah, no, it's. Uh, I like your pitching all overall much better. I like the Neto call. I was looking at that. What do you? But you're um, you had four outfielders early, so your yeah, late outfield not, depth isn't a big deal, though. I'm I'm very light in steals. I think I'm yeah. averaging eight or nine bags per player and the target's 13. However, the target is based on like 80th percentiles. And in a standalone league, you don't need 80th percentile bags. So that was somewhat by design. Yeah. Like my middle rounds, I took almost no speed. No, you took you took Matt Chapman for crying out loud. So <laughs> you're, you're good there. Rizzo doesn't run. Drury doesn't really run. Drury doesn't run. I mean, I tried yeah. to kind of soft it with uh Neto and who else? Will you're a brave. We'll get we'll get Ray. We'll get Ray in the chat here. I'll send him a okay. Or not in the chat on the stream. <laughs> Your dad did drink All a whole right. bottle of <laughs> Jesus. We've got no that was Moises Alou. That was that was just who's the guy is Moises Alou. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. That's oh beautiful. man that's beautiful. To, overall it bed. was fun overall it was fun i'll say that much um, um let's how do i how do i get the link to this stream yard um, thing you click on um now i'm an old invite oh, invite yeah. it's the convenient button that do you invite people into the chat or the feed? all right ray yeah. i just emailed you uh the link because yeah curious your thoughts when you jump in here yeah, I'm looking. It's it's so hard. Yeah, like, I, uh, I love so maybe Yuri, maybe Yuri Perez needs to urinate on himself. Yeah, he needs to develop those blisters and the calluses quickly. So that could um, be less lotion. Could more be callus. what we need there. Uh, Doctor Roto was fun. He had a lot of players that I liked as he was taken throughout the draft. The Julian pick was sneaky nice. Bo Naylor was sneaky nice. Henry Davis could pay up. Michael Garcia. He got you on Savali. Canning yep. MJ, like there's a lot of picks I like on Dr. Roto's team. Yeah, he he yes, agreed. He and he did. So knowing that you start with glass now, what you do is you have to back that up with volume. That's why he took the yep. Kel, the you know, Merrill Kelly. Yep. Here's Ray. Yo, yo, what's up, guys? What's going on, Ooh. Ray? Dude, that was we were texting a little bit. That was fast. It was fast, and I was I, I thought the bubba about this draft room because I was so disoriented. I could not find anything <laughs> in this room. Literally, literally true story, like round Thank one. You. I was me. In, I, I guarantee you I did worse than you. For round one, I couldn't figure out where the clock was. I wasn't even in the draft room. I was on the ranking. <laughs> okay, you win. You win. <laughs> All right. I'm like, where's the clock? Luckily, I was on the live stream with the town guys, and I was on with Todd. I'm like, Where's the clock? I don't see anything. Like, why is my room four picks behind what I see in the Zoom? That's it was, bad. It was, it was bad. That's, that's that's bad. You do uh, quote unquote win. Yeah, you I win mean, that you one. Take you out, you take me off the NFPC platform, and clearly I'm just lost. I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. It was I was struggle busting it there for a bit. Yeah, and, uh, so I was I, I was in survival mode for like the first three rounds. And I yep, finally figured similar. It out. Then I bet, apparently hitting refresh is all I needed to do. That was ridiculous. <laughs> that but, I think uh, some people yeah. missed that. Like, and I think I was the first one to screw up and time out and take yeah, Max the Muncy. wrong Max Muncy <laughs> of the A's. 
<laughs> which so what I did and, and this how is, was that even in your queue to be taken? Is what so I want to know. I I I so I do this every draft that's not on NFPC. I load, I import the rankings into the draft room, and then oh, draft is by name. One for you. Yeah. yeah, it's not by ID, it's by name, and so I imported Max Muncie, both Max Muncies, and that's why he was at the top of my queue. And it used to happen with it. There was another Luis Castillo. Um, yeah. He's no longer in the pool, I guess. The, but, um, yeah, that's the, the two Adam Eatons back in the day. The two Adam Eatons, the two Ryan Brons. There was another oh, Ryan God, Braun back, yep. back yep. then. The the reliever Jose Ramirez. But anyway, all right, uh, Ray, let's bring you on to. So we actually have something from Eric in the chat, and then we'll have you go through your your squad here, but. Value in his opinion on Real Muto, Adamas, which I definitely thought so, and Nick Pavetta. Uh, thoughts on on those picks for He's you? Telling him we got good value there. Um, uh, as I was just coming into the room, I heard I think Bubba talking about uh, Julian. I took Adamas to pick after Julian. I got sniped hard. Uh, Dr. Yeah. Roto, he got me three times in a row, um, <laughs> or three times out of four. He got me with Julian before Adamas. He got me with Bo Naylor before Moreno. And then um, there was another one where he just like burned me to the ground. Roto had a good draft. It was he good. did. He was yeah. he was like <laughs> by the end of the but by, by the end of the tout stream, I was he he timed out on one pick, and I'm like, yeah, he didn't know what to do because he lost his VPN connection. I'm like, it's kind of it's kind of how I felt at that point. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah no, I, I was even saying that when you took Real Muto in an OBP league to be like the he's the fourth catcher off the board, the that was pretty strong. Board. That was yeah, I was, I was late for that. I, I was and shocked. I, um, I wanted um, – I'm looking at the board. Um, I wanted to take William Contreras earlier, and then, but somebody was wise to his mm-hmm. OVP skills, and he went, you know, round and a half it's before round. Real Muto. Rudy. But, you know, Rudy took Yeah, it. but Real Muto – yeah, that, that darn Rudy. He's so savvy. Uh, but, yeah, Real Muto in the middle of round seven seemed more than reasonable to me. Yep. Yep. I liked that quite a bit. Um, let's have some fun with racing Freeman. That was, I was debating Freeman at my pick to go Tawny instead. So I ended up, you went, so, okay, here we'll start with this one. One of Ryan's guys, because you took a lot of guys, Ryan talks about That's why it was fun. Well, this is an HQ surprise, thing. Surprise. Apparently. Well, um, I listen, I, I listen to you guys every week. Uh, so, you know, it's subliminal. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Uh, but Gossman, what are your thoughts with the shoulder thing? Is it minor concern for you? Or is, you took him in the third round. I, so, yeah, a minor concern. We were talking about a little bit the tout stream as he was falling to me. Um, they were kind of talking about how far he was going to fall, and it was it was that or Webb for me. And I, um, you know, Webb obviously went two picks later, but I, you know, Gosman just threw today. I think I saw. Yeah, he threw today um, yeah, with no issue, time. which was which was enough for me to be like, okay, yeah. worst case scenario, he's probably missing a starter. You know be in the fifth starter at a camp and getting an extra five days off or something like that. That's fine. I've already got a lot of gospel. And I was like, what's a little more. Yep. There's never enough gospel in Ryan's world. So you're good. And of course, the whole reason I had to do that was Pablo Lopez didn't get down to me because Brian, because Ryan's been, you know, pumping him up for an entire winter now and it's working. It's, it's, yes. it's definitely working. I did not you didn't want do it to. here. I did not. I did not want to. I really did not want to. So that's why I took, I mean, I like Luis Castillo a lot. I just uh, I, need, I haven't I been in the in the front part of the draft at all, really. This like the front part of the wheel, so I've never been really been able to get Castillo unless I take him middle or early second round. So yeah, you that was more a diversity up. thing. Like I just want to I want to get a Castillo and not have Lopez on every single team. Yeah, diversity starts to matter when you rack up as many drafts as you had. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes. I <laughs> yes. I probably yeah. sh- you know if not for that kind of if, thinking I probably would have taken Wheeler and two instead of Harris, but I was, I've got my, I've got my, uh, my full stack of Zach Wheeler at this point. So. All right. I I need to ask real quick in round 14, your clock was ticking and I don't know you you were in the tout streams. You might not have witnessed this, but you ended up taking Brian Bayo the entire time. Ryan is yelling. He's going to take Christopher Sanchez. Don't take Christopher Sanchez. (laughs) My question to you, Ray, was Christopher Sanchez a part of the equation when you're looking at Brian Bayo? Yeah, he's in that mix for sure. I, I, <laughs> we've probably talked about it, but I absolutely love that tier of you know going back up a couple of rounds to where I got Pavetta. You know, it kind of starts yep. with for me Pavetta yep. and 
Hunter Brown and Merrill Kelly Andrew. went right after Merrill Kelly. I like Merrill Kelly. The Mariner guys, Bryce, Bryce Miller went a little bit earlier tonight, but Wu goes in that mix for sure. Sanchez, um, I, I've been just cherry picking that tier of the pitching the entire offseason. Your, your competition is is listening, Ray. So uh, Nick no. is, will, will trade you Bayo and Labor. <laughs> <laughs> Nick and I have been uh, you know jousting as you know in multiple on multiple fronts lately. We had Labor on Sunday in Fardo. We're in the same TGFBI league, so uh, yeah, we've been uh, list. We're, we're, yes. Yeah, it, it list. list exactly. List. Oh yeah. It, like yeah, you're there too, Ryan. Exactly. It's almost like Prince share a list yeah. in, in the in the in FBC forums. It's so fun. that's right. You're in there uh, too, Ryan. So but we, closer yeah, we wise, I liked your Tanner Scott in the ninth, man. Mm-hmm. That was good. You know, that was a Jay, time of the draft. I thought second closers were starting to just disappear. I haven't. So. You know, I know you're. That that's a core tenet of yours this year, Ryan. Is getting the two closers and hopefully being set it and forget it mode. I haven't been doing much of that at all. I've been doing a lot of, you know, trolling for the second closer down in the Robert Suarez, the clerk, you know, that kind of tier. So getting the second one as early as Scott tonight was comparatively a luxury. Jason Collette was kind of crapping all over that on the town stream saying that, you know, just making fun of me saying like, look, Scott remembered how to throw strikes last year, but he, he's, <laughs> he is, he has forgotten again. You've, you're back to 2022 Tanner Scott. So, you know, we'll see. Um, I know this is my first year in this league. I've done the other 12 team touts. 15 is obviously much different. So I've been picking Ryan's brain from time to time, but Ray, it felt like pitching in this draft just went insanely early or am I just being crazy here? Cause there were some runs where it just flew and Ryan and I would like talk about the, like our whole cues would get destroyed in two rounds. It was, it was pretty wild to me at least. Maybe I'm just not used to this tout forum part of it, but even in NFC, I don't see it going that crazy, at least in like the second and third pockets of SPs. Well, well he, here's the, here's the thing about that, Ryan. I don't, I mean, you won this one last year, right? So second, second, so, second to Seth, right? Almost. It was like one, but, um, and it, was that your first year in this, Ryan, or was it your second? Uh, that was my first one. I was AL before this. Okay. So the weird thing about this league, and I agree with you, the pitching went super fast. But if you look at the last couple of years in this league without an overall, without the NFBC pitching bias, like your targets for strikeouts in particular are actually a lot lower in the history for this league than what you see in like the NFBC 15s. You wouldn't necessarily think that's true either, but part of it is the unlimited DL. So the you know the ability to screen pitchers is even worse. But like I I won this two years ago and I ran uh, most weeks I ran five starters and four relievers. Huh. And I, I do that a lot in this league because huh. you know it's just it's just a weird thing. The targets are lower, you can get away with doing it. And in, in that sense, it makes me think that the you know the the run on the starting pitching at the top end is a little unnecessary and so that probably drove some of your late jason adam yeah 100 percent all yeah those are the guys i, was, gonna, I love the grad I'm, 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 I'm just gonna leave them there and it's not even you know in the grad all case it's not even a knock on evan phillips or a hedge there i'm just doing it for the the strikeout value and the the plug-in last pitcher and the vulture wins i don't i'm not, I'm not trolling for saves there i'm just trolling for those you know the the elite middle reliever yeah i like the grad all pick quite a bit actually um, what was your favorite pick in the entire thing of your draft? Not the entire board. That's too complicated, but in your draft, <laughs> I still what, have no idea who else yeah. is on your team. Yeah. You couldn't keep track. See, <laughs> I see, couldn't this keep is track what, of my own. Yeah, I was gonna say, I, I'm going to say vote. I, I'm What's just the, glad I got Freeman because I didn't know what the hell else I was going to do at picking. Well, no, Ray, Ryan's over here trying to watch his kids at one point and then it goes downstairs and then he's trying to keep track of everything on his spreadsheets. And I'm like, this is why you just do things without any, you know, computers and you just have fun and it's easy to keep track. Ryan is just lost the whole time. So that's why his nickname's Basement, if you're curious, because that's where his team's going to be. <laughs> oh, it's been that kind of night for you, too. It has. Oh, no, um, we've, had, we've had some fun. I think uh, if, if I got to throw out a, a favorite pick, uh, Nimmo in round 13 just seems like yeah. really good OBP value. Yeah. I was fishing for, uh, pun intended, late outfield there and. Nemo was yes. 
high up on the list for wow, sure. You're hanging out with me way too much with stuff like that. that was, <laughs> well, I had that I was... ended up with like Will Your Abreu and Fraley later. I wanted Abreu like, at one point. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think he starts in Boston, but did you get any uh, your did you get any IL stashes? Was that anything you you took? I got, I, I got springs. Yeah, that's my okay. That's yeah. my IL stash. Yeah, I'll that works. throw him on the IL week one and. Uh, See see what has emerged from spring training. It gives yeah, me it's it's one a little... spot to have a free fab. Yeah, yeah. I almost went because I took two. It does hurt you in that first half week because if when you IL the guy and if you fab someone to replace him, you do have to start. So that you fab, fab you guy fab, that you fab true. a Dodger or something and hope they play. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Dodgers Padres, right? So was, that's where Gratterall even comes into play. It goes and pitches I, in one I, of the games. You're good. Yeah, we're you know. I, I was thinking about this last week, like for drafts and for FPC, like main events or whatever. Can you imagine if somebody like, you know, Gratterall or Wusuk Go or somebody pick up like two Vulture wins in those two oh, games? How high like, they're going to go? Like, like, like they'll go in like round 18. Yeah. Like just to have them for those four days. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That'll be mm-hmm. wild. Absolutely crazy. But yeah, it was fun. It was fun. It was fun. How was, how I'm was sure the, uh, how was the tout stream? I'm gonna. I'm yep. probably watching that after this. So, um, it was it was lightly attended, but there were you know three people in the room drafting. Oh, was that's what I was, yeah. Did they like cycle you guys? In? We were we were all there the whole time. It was Anthony and uh, Tim McLeod and me drafting, okay. Okay. and both Zola and Colette were there. You know, just opining as they do. Uh, <laughs> so it was good. Um, the platform was really good. I'd never been on that uh, playback TV thing, but. Uh, yeah. I yeah, guess that I was know, a big uh, Pollock discovery, and it's yeah. Uh, a lot of people are using that now. So, yeah. yeah, I was late to Streamyard too, so you know. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll get on that playback thing one of these days, but you know, once it's not cool anymore, and Pollock's onto something else. Yeah, so, totally. yeah, that's usually our rate of adoption. Yeah. yeah, right there with you. I'll have to watch this back, you guys. I'm sure there'll be some laughs in there. I'll uh, play it. Term plenty of laughs, and... plenty of bad picks. A lot of little bit of little bit of a. Uh vulgar vulgar language one uh, one word i heard there was an f-bomb yeah. one word because i had enough of the platform i was ready to just walk away <laughs> I, I i am fully empathetic to whatever you said bubba because i was yeah. just like what yeah, on so, earth is going on here i i usually control myself pretty well i just <laughs> it was over <laughs> yeah i could see you getting visibly frustrated in the in the thing <laughs> i gotta um, stop talking about bluefield you're on your own right now i gotta figure this out <laughs> and then yeah, Ray, I had the first, I think five. I thought it was gonna be the first two or three rounds, but my wife was late and getting home. So I had like seven rounds into it. I was the first seven rounds or whatever. Yeah. I, was, I was upstairs with my four-year-old and two-year-old and the dog. Oh, well, that was and, that was the other thing that um, you know, aside from the uh draft room confusion in the first couple of rounds, like I was actually fitting uh a project in my day job that like ran over it. It was supposed to be like six to eight o'clock Eastern and it was not done yet at eight o'clock. I'm like still literally text texting people on my phone and was afraid I was going to have to be on that call. I was like, this is terrible. Uh, <laughs> Too many uh, things going on. Luckily that was done by like eight fifteen. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Well, yeah, well, we're going to wrap this up. That was fun. Thanks, for the, thanks for the quick invite guys. Yeah, yeah, man. Thanks for jumping on. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Good luck this year. Be chasing you all season, I'm sure. No. <laughs> all right, everybody. That will do it for our stream. Let's get rid of that real quick there. You can check out Ray on Twitter at Ray HQ and obviously over there at Baseball HQ. Bloomfield Basement. At, at Basement. At Ryan VHQ. I'm on Twitter at BD Engine Podcast, Bubba and Bloom Pod. Thanks for listening, everybody. Your 2024 Tout Mixed League draft. Catch you all next time. <laughs>